Why didn't I change? <laughs> I thought I pressed the change thing. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Hi guys! I messed up. I messed up the title. I forgot to update. I have it all set, but I forgot to press done. I'm so I'm such an idiot. <laughs> well, um, it's it's gonna be just me chilling because I really wanna progress on the story, so I'm gonna proceed to the actual gaming time now. Also, hello! Meowings and screaming. It's my kittens. They're being rambunctious. They, they just finally opened their eyes and running around. So if you hear meowing, it's them. Here we are. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, there we go. We are playing story mode. We are returning. Well, let me just put this here. I don't know why it's not up. Yeah, so they, they finally reached that point where they can run around. They've been zooming around with their little... They're so tiny, you know? They're like jelly beans. And then they're like zooming and like running around. And they're, <laughs> they're so cute. And then they're like, meow, meow, meow. Like they're, they're meowing like their lives are in danger. But it's just them being... They're just being silly. So I already did a lot of like daily. So it's just me. I wanted to do the story. Because I have I actually been putting it off. Because like um, I wanted to continue the story on stream. So I'm going to continue. This one is that special. Um, this one is a special. Uh game mode, I think, where you have to do this. You fix the railways and turn the fans back on as well. Now the temperature will go down. No more spillages, sure. You're at liberty to continue your journey. Use the card, sure. This way, we use the tunnel to throw away rocks from the mines. This is fine, right? Sure. Absolutely. For seasoned adventurers such as myself, everything is fine. Forward, my friends, to the Golden Cheese Kingdom. Safe travels. It was a pleasure meeting you, cookies. We need meat for Radiance Golden Cheese Cookie. Tell her we're waiting for her. What? Meow yeah, randomly, dang it. I knew I should have said it higher. <laughs> See, I sound a cat, but that's Flayon. He's controlling my body. I'm like, I'm like a, I'm like Ratatouille. <laughs> He's controlling my head. <laughs> what the hell? The cheese birds are waiting patiently to witness your golden glory once more. Sure. Sure thing. Stay safe. Haha, <laughs> how exciting. Soon you, I would be the first to pioneer the legendary golden cheese kingdom. I think I'll finally get to see it with my own eyes. Whoa, the card is moving. Oh my goodness, this reminds me, I, I'm not sure if I already told you guys the story, but I, it, in, in Philippines, we are not really that fortunate, right? And we have like, knockoff, uh, uh, 
you know, like those, uh, we call it feria basically, like, like a fair where there's like a lot of rides and um, games and stuff. And then we have like this little mine park thing that's like made out of wood. And then it's like a roller coaster. But the fact is, um, it, even though it's like a tiny roller coaster, like, it's still flimsy. Like it, like it does have like something to like cling on to, but if you look at the bottom of that roller coaster that you're riding, there's like a lot of broken glass shards, and like, um, it's like a grills basically. Like there's like grills, like metal grills on the bottom. It's like if you fall over that stupid little mine guard, you're probably gonna fall to your death. And I don't know, I don't know why, but like, hey, it's it's the best that I could do with. A roller coaster because like a roller coaster was basically I can't try it because I'm too short to ride roller coasters and now I'm like oh my goodness I'm reminded of that little ride <laughs> this little wooden minecart thing I talked about it when uh, during the Hamtaro Ham Ham heartbreak stream and I'm just gonna I'm just repeating it again it's like it's funny Ginger Brave how are you holding up I fine for I'm Ginger Brave and Ginger Brave doesn't scream. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing you're too short to ride because it sounds dangerous. No, I was able to ride that specific um ride because I can't ride the actual and official um uh roller coasters. I was able to ride it and it was fine, but it's a little bumpy. Like if you were trying to zoom around. Like you hit the corners of the minecart and then it's like, oh, ow! Like it's because like it's it's a sharp turn, and then like it's like you're bumping on a, like in a metal like corners and it really hurts. But I mean, it's the best that I can do, I guess, because I can't ride the official ones. I could only ride the the dangerous and like suspicious uh little roller coaster. That totally doesn't have any insurance if I ever fall and die. <laughs> and your composure is most impressive, my friend. Finally, I see the light ahead. The sussy coaster, basically. Sus rides. Yeah, I don't know, like in Philippines there's like a lot of like sus rides. Do you know those like little spinny boat things? Like not in Enchanted Kingdom, but like actual like your every fiesta feria basically has those stuff. Oh, and that very huge speeding um, it's like a high speed uh Ferris wheel. I'm not sure if you guys had that, but in the Philippines, we have like this little Ferris wheel that's super fast, and it's like if you don't stay still. Chubibo? Is that what it called? Like the the very fast very very slow? Like it's because like whenever you ride it, it's like it tilts back and forth because it's really fast and like it doesn't have any other protective. It's like basically there's like a, a little like rail to like keep you from falling, but like your feet is kind of exposed, I guess. And then when you like try to tilt like forward and that. It, you might fall. Might being like if, if you're not holding for your dear life. The fast Ferris wheels. Oh my god, those scare the crap out of me. They do. It scares the shit out of me too. Like imagine like if you slip because like I'm really small. Like at the time when I was able to ride it, I was super tiny, you know. And it was like shaking. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. Because like you don't have anything to like strap yourself to. Like it's only the little railing that you have to hold. Like there's no seat belt or anything. At least in my experience, there's nothing. It's just like the little like guardrail. I think like you have to like hold. And just like it rocks back and forth really hard. Like oh my goodness, I'm gonna. Try. <laughs> ah. Philippine rides never, never, never. Never change. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Jump. Oh, oh my goodness. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong key. Wrong key. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. 
Okay. In Open Break, it doesn't. They don't have this game mode at all. This is exclusive to Kingdom. this oof ow please be nice to me i'm just a little guy there we go seat and rod gang it's like a seat and a bar of rod basically yes like what the hell like how would you i don't know like in hindsight i think philippine rides are just like you really shouldn't like mess with it because like if you mess with it, you're basically may or may not die. I don't know. It's still fun. Like it still has that thrill, you know? Like, it's really fun. But the fact that you it's just dangerous in general is is <laughs> eh What the hell? Oh, okay. It's Ooh. We're here! The kingdom founded by Golden Cheese Cookie herself! What a discovery! Look at that temple, so grand and imposing. Legend has it, golden cheese could be ordered to fashion it with single doll minus cheese. Let's go. Golden cheese could must be somewhere inside. Hold on a moment. Something's amiss. Hmm? If this really is the palace of golden cheese cookie, there must be someone to guard it, don't you think? Instead, it's all empty and quiet. Not even a crumb in sight? Maybe everyone is having a party inside. Who? Like, would, don't parties have to be like very loud? I don't know, brother. Now I want to run inside even more. No? Running around the pyramid is a bad, bad idea, bro. Just imagine all the dangers. Oh my goodness. He's that guy, you know, like the adrenaline person, the adrenaline junkie guy, daredevils, you call it, the one who does parkours, Indiana Jones. Ah, and don't forget about the traps. Ha <laughs> ha! But of course, they're no match for a skilled adventure. Hi, Diggle! Hey, whoa! You're using the sploot emote. You guys really love the sploot, huh? <laughs> As an archaeologist, I can't just wait to dive into the mysteries this temple holds. I bet it's full of ancient inscriptions to decipher. Temples like these are founds of ancient knowledge. I'm gonna examine each and every mural. Just make sure not to step on any suspicious tiles until I'm done, Adventure Cookie. Yeah, knowing this guy, he definitely will step on it. Sploot, sploot, oh, uh, sploot. I love this cat so much. Sploot. Don't forget the cookies waiting for us, but home. Home? Ha! There's only the mysterious path ahead. What are we waiting for, my friends? Let's go! Monsters. I'm not sure if this is like a rage um bar or something. But like I said before, during the Dream Train and City of Wizards, they had like a sleep um game mechanic where you're basically have to put to sleep and you're uh it's like a stun mechanic. But I'm not sure with the Beatles. I guess it's like by waves, like the more increased monsters. I'm not really sure what's the difference between the 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 lost desert story and oh my goodness you cannot pass oh my god this reminds me in Diablo 2 there's like this NPC that's like blocking your way um I think he's Jaren and you have to talk to like I, I forgot the I forgot the guy like he he's like a an NPC where you have to access the temple, not the temple, like 
the palace basically and it's like oh you may not pass it's so annoying but he's like a running meme i think like years ago is he's one of my favorite memes to spam for like i used to spam in this in, in this form called gaia online i have to spam this on chatterbox every single day i don't know why I just have that much extra time that I would spam this bullshit ass copy pass so that they cannot pass. What creature has four feet in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three at night? These nuts! Number one, a cookie. Two, a human. Three, a jelly worm. Four, a cake hound. Now then, what is your answer? Um, isn't it number three a jelly worm? Wrong! Jelly worms don't have legs! Alright then, a cake count. Wrong again! Cake counts of four feet regardless of the time of day. I just chose it since they're so cute. It's left. It's number two, a human. Wrong once again, wrong. By the way, what's human? I must say, I am unfamiliar with this particular term. Human? I don't know. I don't know humans either. What are those people? Hey. Well, well, that just leaves. Number one, a cookie. Correct. A freshly baked cookie crawls on all, on all fours and stands on their two feet. Then when they grow old, they use a walking stick. So that's three. I don't think they should be rewarded because like they basically used up all of the answer. They should try again. Well, alright. That was easy. <gasps> what? That's a shit ton. Oh my goodness. Nobody told me I thought there were... What? What? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? That's a lot. I thought there was like 30 only. I thought I was really close. Secret tunnel. Just hoping to wish you a good stream. Thank you so much, CGS. Thank you. Honestly, I just want to get through the story so I can just like... Forget about it afterwards. Because it's my first time actually catching up on these. Like I said, I never... I don't know, I never had the chance to really like catch up because like um when I first started I was only stuck in this specific area called Dark Cow Kingdom and I didn't have a lot of like OP characters basically. Now that I do, I'm just like steamrolling the 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 stages now. Which is good. Because I really want to get through the story. Because I hated like a oh I'm I'm because last time I lost out on um Holy Berry Kingdom when it first came out because like I didn't have enough like characters to breeze through the whole thing but now that I do I'm just glad because I really want to read the story as it comes out it's just basically grinding at this point like, we just have to go through the the monster stages or fighting stages and then we read the story, basically. Next stage. Come on, I want more story. Come on, give me, give me. Also, I'm, I'm like trying to, uh... Oh, here's a story one. Look at that, it's Among Us! Look at those little hounds! The, the hounds over here are so cute! Oh my god, what? <laughs> Hold on, I need to I need to screenshot this and send this to fucking... To my Twitter. Oh my goodness, they are so adorable! Among Us dogs. It's like Medjed, like from... Fate, you know, but they have like the big eyes 
Everything in this game is so cute. It is true! They are so adorable! I love all of them. That's the reason why I stayed in this stupid gacha even though I'm a suck and the meta is basically overrun with meta characters. The cuteness outweighs the bad ones. Just don't think about the meta too hard. Just, just think about the cute cookies and basically it doesn't affect you in any way. You know? <laughs> Also, oh, if you hear dogs barking, I do have three dogs outside. Oh my goodness. Hold on, my, my dad's here. Let me just mute for a bit. Uh, where's my mic? Uh, mute.
my dad came in and we were ordering food. I'm so sorry. He, he basically knocked on my door and like, hey, uh, can you order us some food? We are getting iced coffee and some pizza. Hello, pizza. Yay, pizza. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm telling you that. Anywho, let's go. Where is the... Where's the... Now I read all... Now I read all I could get in my hands about the Golden Cheese Kingdom before traveling here. It is said that the greedy Golden Cheese Cookie feared losing her wealth more than anything. That's why she went to great lengths to prevent other cookies from reaching her domain. She would even put traps on the road to the kingdom. Can you imagine? But I came prepared. I'll give you all something to stay in touch, even if something forces us to part ways. Get ready, it's highly advanced. Whoa, highly advanced? What's that? These nuts? Just kidding. What kind of pizza? It's a uh, veggie pizza, basically. Um, my sis, my my stepsister wanted um cheese pizza. We got uh we got uh basically veggie cheese pizza uh because of me. I don't I can't eat pork, so I had to like yeah, not pizza, <laughs> not pizza. But like speaking of nut, I did get um. Hazelnut iced coffee. Oh, they're so good. I'm telling you that. Whoa, highly advanced. What's that? Look at that! It's just paper cup. This string telephone. The string is very stretchy. Whenever the need arises, say something to the cup and you and your counterpart will hear your message. Ooh, let me try that. Ginger brave to wizard cookie. Do you copy? Bro, I'm standing right in front of you, Ginger brave. I literally don't need anything to copy. Copy. He's like copy these. <laughs> what? What? What's up? Papa said Papa said order. Yeah, he came here. And we ordered. Sorry, my sister <laughs> barged into my room. You know how, as a kid, nobody thought taught us a string should be at the tension to function. Nobody does. It's just the fact that, like, oh, we just have to get like a string and a paper cup, and then it'll happen. But no, it doesn't work like that. But I did like the walkie talkies. Like, I I used to have like walkie talkies like before like Twitter or just actual phones because like you know we're not that fortunate so we just use walkie talkies and then like if my friends were like outside it's like Shh, hello like lambda we, we really want to play like batulata I, um batulata is like um i don't know what's like the actual term for batulata in 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 english but it's basically a game that's like you put it like you make a chalk or like just a rock and then you draw lines on the like the roadside and then you put like a can on it and you just throw your slippers and then if it hits they're basically it Ooh, can sniping yeah 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 that batulata is so fun like i remember like running this like a <laughs> or like putting a rock like in the can so it won't like topple easily and they're like hi and <laughs> like, no, it's because like, you know, it's it's just, you know, he <laughs> I'm just a little guy. How could they put a rock underneath the can? <laughs> Tumbang preso is the more general term. Oh, really? It's not so. Yeah, I guess it's more of like a, a Bisaya term, I guess. That's called batulata. I guess tumbang preso is much more, you know. I'm a bystander mostly because I'm afraid of projectiles. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes the, the 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 slippers can hit your face as it's like it flunks to your face. Like, Ow! 
<laughs> and then just like run a anyways. <laughs> oh, I missed that. I'm only good at Pico and 1020. Is 1020 like? I'm not really sure. Is 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 that the Jackstone one or the 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 one with the jumping jumping rope? I I forgot what's that called in in Tagalog. It's like there's like s stretchy string where you have to like try and reach it. I forgot what it's called. Pico is nice though. Like I I like those little rubber bands and then you try to like flung it over oh man yeah chinese garter those <laughs> i remember like trying to like reach there and then like yeah and then it's like, <laughs> you just flop to the ground because it's too high to reach i can only do limbo with chinese garter oh my goodness chunkla damage yeah you get hit by your by the face and just like ow it hurts these hieroglyphs are different from those i've seen in the millennia tree ruins yeah because it's egyptian dumbass can you really read them olive cookie <laughs> of course but let me wet my glasses clean first now what do we have here i see a pair of eyes and an earth cookies go to the low place and path will open the low place where's that under these just kidding never played that but sounds something that i'd ha that happened to me every time i played basketball i took one to the face Whoa, basketball yes like, you know when you're like in the like basketball court, right? And then you're just like, stay in the corner. But like, people are like trying to pass the ball, right? And then you're in the, you're in the little like benches. And then when you're at the benches, it's like for some reason, when they pass, they just miss it because like slippery hands and it hits your face straight up. Like, ow! It hurts. What the hell? And then they'll be like, oi, sorry. Like, yeah, you better be sorry, dumbass. Chinese garter is competitive as heck during my ele elementary days. Oh, definitely. I think one of like... I don't know, like I know someone who's really short. Like I think she's just a bit taller than me. But she can really jump. Oh my goodness. Like she's like a frog. She jumps even at the very top. Like you know where it's the very like point where you have to use your fingers on top of your head. And then you have to like put another one on your head. She can basically reach it. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that girl is flying. Acrobatics moment for the girlies and the gays. We love them. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I miss those times. Speaking of elementary days as well, I think I was supposed to mention this, but like the reason why I love bugs is because when I was back in elementary, uh, we have this tradition. I'm not sure if you weren't there guys from people in the philippines here like the, my viewers here in the philippines do you remember the time where uh, merchants were selling maya birds and those little spiders in matchboxes those little matchbox spiders were, were basically the sport in my elementary and we were basically fighting there's like a I'm not sure how to like say it in in English but it, there's like a ranking system in my school back then like whoever gets to like defeat many spiders basically is like the top dog and the meta there in the spider fights is you have to have a female spider like a um, orb weaver spiders are usually common they they don't bite you mind you Yes, Jess, they're like Pokemon battles. There's like colored chicks and chickens and hermit crabs. Yes, they do, but mostly I've seen more colored chicks than hermit crabs and spiders. Spiders are really fun. Like, they're really... It's kind of like Spider League, Mashi. And it's like a Pokemon battle too, because like, not every school has a ranking system, but mine's did. So basically, we, we, whenever like school is over or like if it's like lunch break, we try to like feed our spiders by fighting other quote unquote spider trainers. And if they're just new to this like sport, they have to like 
they have to like um usually they fight with the males okay because in the spider in the spider meta basically it has to have a it has to be a female spider because like the female spider are more aggressive and more um they're more active and trying to fight the like the males and they're eating the males or they will break with the males basically so that's that's how we have this cycle where like we try to fight each other and then we if if the if the female decides to keep the the male spider and have babies with him that's fine but if it's like the, the female decides to eat the male spiders that's basically free food and we don't have to buy extra like um food for the spider basically uh australia would have has beef for the spider battles they have more spiders than and they were bigger yes the wolf spiders are so scary oh my goodness they're so big those color chick combos with gacha like repacked game boys for the back best the gacha being paper dipped in water really I never had that. I only have like people selling like colored chicks and then you, you can pick whatever you want. Like, unsay mo, sige pili lang unsay mo gusto dia day. And then they were like, oh my gosh, yeah, sure, I'll pick, I'll pick the pink one. Because like at the time I loved pink. I still do, but I think I like blue more now that I'm a bit older. We must get flat, but we're already flat. Oh my goodness, that's funny as hell. They're flat. They're flatbreads. No, get down. Oh, they slide. Whoa. Whoa, there's a gap below the wall. I can see the path to the next chamber. Well, not bad, Olive Cookie. You cracked the puzzle. Good jelly, nice stun. Good jolly, nice stun. I see how it is. It's a pun, huh? I guess you won this round. Easy peasy. Let's get crawling then. Yeah! What the hell? They just slide in there. Like, Jabiro Kwai slide. What the hell? They're doing the baby girl pose. What's flatter than flat? Someone's... Someone's bosoms, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But like, yeah, I missed the old times back in elementary, like the, the after activities, not like the actual elementary. Because like elementary and high school in Philippines is basically bully central. <laughs> Lol. But like, guys, I'm not sure if you had this experience, but there was this one time that we had like, uh, guava. What? Who is that? She... Shio Shiom PV Oh hello Thank you for the follow Shiom VT thank you so much Whoa whoa welcome We were having like <laughs> I'm I went off a tangent with like school and like childhood uh activities I was gonna say about like guava picking Like when I was a kid we used to pick guavas And like, um, we use like our slippers to like try to pry the guava down, and like, they it, they were free, but like we still stole guava from somebody's like tree. Really? How about mangoes or like, how do you call that in in Tagalog? It's like, uh, how do you call like? Hold on, it's like a, a sop. Or like, it's a color. It's a colored pink uh, fruit that's like somewhat sweet. Makopa, it's like makopa. I think makopa fruit. Ah yes, there we go. It is makopa. Makopa is like those trees that you see like on the like whenever like you pass through like someone else's like um home and then they have like trees going on and you just like throw your slippers and get that stuff like man fruits for free not much too i must i see those in provinces really hmm i guess that's new because like we have a lot of trees back then here 
even Eba Three. Eba Three is so good. Like, if you really want sour, if you want sour fruit, or if you want to like cook sinigang, or just like any sour soups, you can basically like steal someone else's Eba Eba like Eba fruits, and then you just like put it there or just dip it in like salt. Ugh, I'm drooling now. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I'm craving for Iba. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know Makopa, but I'm not sure with the EN. Yeah, I think it's Java Apple. Childhood next door, uh, childhood next door neighbor used to have an avocado tree, though. <gasps> avocados! Free avocados! Though you don't eat avocados. I remember that yesterday that you don't. I like the avocado, like the ones you put, like condensed milk. And then avocado. That was so good. It's been a minute since I have sinigang. I miss the sourness. Ooh, sinigang is really good. Especially sinigang na ista. I mean, sinigang manok is okay. But like, I prefer ista. I don't know, like, the, the, the ista has something, like, it makes sinigang really tasty. I don't know. I prefer ista when it comes to sinigang. Ah, a huge boulder is coming our way. Be careful, cookies. Wah! Oh, ouch! Ow, oh my goodness. Wah! What's going on? That's a lot of rocks. Run, run! What the hell? Oh my goodness. Phew! Are we there yet? Yeah, are we there yet? Shrimp sinigang best if you're not allergic to. Yeah, shrimp sinigang is good. Like, anything that has to do with seafood and sinigang, it's really good. Oh man, I miss sinigang. Uh, sinigang is so good. Especially if it's like freshly made and then you have like a day old rice. I don't know, like day old rice. It, like in Filipino dishes is so good. This is my actual first time seeing a Cookie Run gameplay. This is this is one of like the other games of Cookie Run. The more um traditional Cookie Run is basically Cookie Run Oven Break. I'm I said I would switch. Uh, uh I think it's in my stream. Like I'm switching the Oven Break and Kingdom, but um I might take a while because like i am having tangents i'm sorry guys if i'm like having tangents and like sharing stories like whenever i think about like back then kind of like stories i just like oh i remember back then and i just like start to talk about like <laughs> my tangents oh my goodness i'm not sure if this is a Davao franchise but i used to get like lots of shrimp shinigang from linden's i never seen linden's actually uh, mostly because I'm not I'm not the type to get out of the house that much. Yes, I do have a little bit of work, but most of the time I do prefer being indoors. So I never really had the chance to like explore a lot of like branches. I do know um the the fast food ones like Mang Inasal, um Jollibee, Red Ribbon, and other stuff. Not sure if it's existing too nowadays. That was 10 years ago. Really? And the channel points. Oh yeah, you guys want to like get that free meow? That meow is only 34 redeems. AKA Lambda Delta redeems. So those are very limited. <laughs> Even though it is 1000, it's still limited. <laughs> limited per day. Rip me out is limited GG. Ha, <laughs> because I know people would spam that. <laughs> knowing knowing you guys. <laughs> Grinding for a Wamban yet. Is there a redeem for real cat do meows? My cats are They're running around my room and they don't like being held. But I'm not sure if they're even here. I think they're with their mama right now. They're probably drinking milk uh, at the very back of my bed. A 
Uh, can, can, what's your plan, Adventure Cookie? See that brick sticking off of above? I'm going to hook my rope around it and swing to safety. And then I'll throw it back down for you to climb. Adventure Cookie, it's too dangerous. You'll never know if you never try. Attempt number one. Da! Didn't work. Attempt number two. Please work, please. I really need to get back home in one piece. Oh my goodness, who? Stretch. Okie dokie. I'm stretching my back. <laughs> my my water. Hold on, my water. It rolled over. No, my water. <laughs> Finally up. So I will stretch more. Yeah, I'll stretch more. There we go. Stretchy. Oh no, it's okay. I have it close, so no no water leak. It's basically it's a, it's okay. I need to put hydrate as a channel redeem as well, so I can drink more water. I'll be the most hydrated person ever. I really need to get back home in one piece. There's a cookie waiting for me. Oh, is that Blackberry Cookie who's waiting for you? Aw, oh, yeah, that's so cute. Wah, wah. Yeah, a wah, wah. It's so funny because, like, Lana's like, you guys are making words up, like, with oomphy and kloomphy. And then I'm like, yeah, what about wah, wah? What about din dins? What about yum yums? And then they're like, no, it's different. He's so fucking funny. <laughs> Ah, adventure cookie! <sighs> no more, I can't. I can't stay safe, cookies. Don't crumble. No, don't you give up, wizard cookie. We must leave this place together. Ah. Oh my goodness. It's a blank space. That's it. If you, if you climb on the par parapet. What the hell is a parapet? Is this marapets? You won't need to run. Here, reach out and hold my hand. Just a bit more. I can do it. Just a bit more. Almost there. But there's only a gaping hole. Yeah! Oh no, they got gold. They're not. Dude, they're dead. They're over. Oh no, they're gonna. They're gonna ponder the orb. Gingerbread! Wizard Cookie! Black Raisin Cookie! They're dead. Okay, story's over. They're dead. Roll the credits. Just kidding. <laughs> Rip bozos. <laughs> Rip bozo. Oh my goodness. Does it want me to restart? Okay, fine. I'll restart it for you. It says like I waited too long and then I have to restart it. Okay, I get it. I get it. So these are the games that I have right now in my LD player. Food Fantasy, which is it's extremely confusing. I don't know what's going on. I'm just using it as like a pastime to like wait for Cookie Run, Open Break, and Kingdom to like recharge. It's not just the the, the cookies went rip bozo. My game also went rip bozo. Oh my goodness. Don't you just love it when games crash like that? Ah, the light it burns. Anywho, let's let me check grab. Okay, delivery by. Good day, ma'am sir. Thank you for choosing. I'm a helper and grab writer. I'm happy at least we get the. Wait, is it already here? I'm not really sure. In the, it's still in the kitchen. Activity. What? That's strange. I ordered two. Let me just 
restart my grab, I guess. And then check the other order. I ordered two orders from different um, establishments. I'm trying to check it out, but it's not really showing anything. Screen itch. Huh. Weird. This is about your order, yes? That's strange. That's an unconfirmed. What? No. Do I have to do that all over again? No. That's silly. Please, no. Please, no. No, I have to do that all over again. That's so silly. Oh, Hold on, let me just like speed through this. I'm so sorry, guys. For some reason, um, it didn't complete. It's supposed to be completed. I'm so sorry. What the hell? Too much tangent. They said like, yeah, well, it didn't count. You spoke too much. I'm so sorry. It's so over. Yeah, I have to do it twice. Nar. It's okay. Uh, that means I can do this uh, over uh, another time and not mess up. But I still messed up. Why? We landed at your nor run. Oof. There we go. I got all the health. Nah, no more talking, okay? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I keep going into tangents. I'm so sorry. Boo, yeah, it's basically boo. Sleep. Danger. Oh my goodness, what's that? What was that? I missed your affiliate stream, but pipe popping in. Say congrats. What is this a bit? Is this bit? It's, it's, it doesn't show in my activity feed. Hold on, give me a second. Oh my god, thank you so much for the bits! Thank you, Rivs! Thank you so much! I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> the little bits there. It's so cute. Oh, it's like 30, 300 bits! Oh my goodness, thank you so much! Man, I need to, I need to learn math. <laughs> it's basically said that it's like three, three, one hundred bits. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for the bit. I really appreciate it. It doesn't matter if you like missed the affiliate stream. Because to be honest, we went insane. I think I feel bad to whoever watched my affiliate, <laughs> affiliate celebration stream. We were basically like descending to like insanity because like me, Yoge, Sushi, and Taco were like, no, no. And then we were like spamming like that uh, kitten. I'm gonna be honest with you, daddy's not gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bonds are still up and I also made a little clip and highlights for people to like, you know, skip through stuff that are no well, uh like it's too long because like it is three hours of VOD. So I did make a little clip in there so it saves people the trouble, especially my introduction. We hate golf. 
<laughs> we hate golf and then we still play it anyways. We're like little clowns. <laughs> We're clowns. Clowns. Huh? What happened? I remember the giant boulder, obstacles, lots of burning. Right, right. We fell into the hole. Cookies, are you in one piece? Cherry, hi! Thank you for the follow! Hello! Welcome! Cookies, are you all in one piece? What is this place? What happened? I see a light! Let's go to it! Oh my god, it's Sino from Genshin Impact! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, it's a- Dude, Sino Genshin Impact? Real? Oh, a cookie? No, that's a Genshin Impact character, Ginger Brave. Hi, what's your name? We're looking for golden. We're looking for golden cheese cookie. I am bird cheese cookie, the keeper of the gates. Dude, oh my god, it's Sino. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll rewatch the bits I missed one night at work when not no one's live. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. It's really, it's really just us going crazy. Really, you didn't miss a lot. Sniff, sniff. Cookies. Sweet, sweet and crispy. Your dough smells like fresh flour. But how? We come at pure vanilla cookies behest. There's something we must ask of golden cheese cookie. The shadows of a great war is looming over our world. We need golden cheese cookie strength to protect our spread. To enter our kingdom, all cookies. Noble or lowly, must pass through these gates. The gates will measure the power of your greed. Yeah, I'm greedy. I would eat pizza twice in one sitting. 12 inches. I'm that greedy. Just kidding. Sniffer? <laughs> Sniffer? I, I, I need to put like the sniffer emoji as like... I'm not sure if it pops into my chat, but like in... In Randon's chat, it actually auto, um, it auto turns into like the sniffa emo. I wish I could, I could know how to do that. I don't know how. I should put the sniffa emo. It's so cute. I love the sniffy dog. Don't forget to rate your driver. You can say thanks with a tip later too. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, the the food is here. I will be back, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, my dad asked me to order, so I'm I will be gone for a bit. Hold on for a bit.
should share. I should share what I got. Actually, I got. I got. Uh, uh, the drinks are arrived first. Hold on, let me just put this in and just put this. Here's what I got. On. It's basically just iced coffee, really. Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm getting the pizza. I'll also share the the pictures of pizza as well. Uh, just because like. I'm letting you guys wait. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Well, let me just get these. This is what I got for my sister and my さらさ長くし分ごし。ノイドリクを貯める。面目もろさを背いげろ。Sorry, I muted. I was just gonna say the jackals were really cute. I would rather get myself bitten by those jackals if I pet them. I love dogs that are animated. And isn't it late for you guys? EST, isn't it like 1.45 a.m. and PST is like 10 p.m. there? I don't know. You guys, what are you guys up to? Huh? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Uh, let me tap back to the actual tab. Yes. Though my Twitch broke was for a sec. No, it's not broke. It's just me being dummy. But where is burnt cheese cooking? I, you know, I have the time too where I stayed up until 3 a.m. So I'm not really... I'm not the one to talk. Pepperoni SD. Oh my goodness. 
Well, then again, it's like weekends anyway. As long as you don't like, um, don't overdo it, especially if you have work. I'm at work as usual. Oh, working late, I assume. Oh, please. Okay, good. I don't have to redo the stupid stage. I, I hope that, um, work is okay because, like, working in, in very late hours can be very tiring more than working in daytime. Well, just me personally, when I work in call center, it's, it's more tiring than ever. I'm burnt cheese to be the keeper of the gates. Why are you here? Why, it's my job to guard the gates. You must be like your gates. Uh, you must like your gates a great deal. This place is between order and chaos, day and night. To enter the paradise of the golden radiance, you must cast aside your wordless sins. I don't know about that. I don't think I could abandon um, Curry. It's my material possession that I would never give up for. I'm sorry for a cheese cookie. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to open the straw. Come on now. <gasps> the straw can't penetrate. There we go. Much more like it. Curry is a currency here. It is! It's a currency in, in, in this place. In this wee little world. We're 100% book on the night, so most everyone's already in and asleep. Easy night! If I didn't just jinx myself. Well! If nobody is awake at 1.48am and just like basically like haunting your ass in your workplace, I think you'd be fine. Ain't doing shit till my phone dies, then I'll work while it charges. Oh, is that so? Working, working at night is like one of the perks of working at night is it's really quiet. Even if it's like you're working in a noisy place like a call center, it's not like hot either. It's the fact that it's cold and that you're not sweating like, you know, you're sweating a lot. Oh my goodness. There we go. Hold on. I got a call. I think it's the pizza. I think it's the pizza. Hold on. God dang it. Hold on. It'll be quick. It'll be quick. I have my sister guarding the, the door outside. Yeah. It's just an unexpected that we would order two things at once. Because my dad usually waits until it's like uh, afternoon. When I'm really sure. Remember how we gave the huge pile of bricks to the sugar gnomes before leaving the kingdom? Oh, uh, called out. What if? Just what if the gnomes weren't too happy about that? That sugar gnomes, I'm so sorry. How do we cast aside our sins? Long ago, a dark spirit was born where the western sky and earth meet. A creature who harbors insatiable grudge against the entire world. Leon? I have pepperoni as a snack with me, so that's my pizza party contribution. Ooh! Inferaya, welcome! Hello! Good morning? Question mark? Uh, I will have a pizza, which is I will show it if my sister brings it to my room. I did say that she should bring it here so we could pack it. And then I could like take a picture and show you guys the pizza that we got. 
it's just a nine nine inches pizza really. It's with veggies, which I like. I like veggies. A giant snake with fangs of pure poison. Fight it. No, not again. Okay. Another gate passed. Better be the last one. The case. Oh, my sister's here. Yes, you can open. Just hold on. I forgot to mute, but anywho. Get me a plate. They swapped they swapped slices for some reason. I don't know why. I thought they don't like veggies, but they do now. Is it because that they have spinach? I mean, it's so weird. They used to hate that stuff. Is it? Let me just add image here. Oh my goodness. Pizza! Pizza! Haha, <laughs> pizza time! This light, and then the, the veggies one. Okay. Go no hot. Here. Here's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah, just that to the side. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this later. Oh. I love veggie pizza. It's so good. <gasps> Not even vegetarian. I just like veggie pizza. This is the last stop, at least. There's no more interruptions after this. So I'm sorry for the little interruptions, but yes, that's my pizza. It's from Greenwich. Let me just remove the image now. There we go. Ah, oh, pizza is so good. Let's go back to the game. Cookies, you'll have to lend me a hand here to open this. I hope I don't have to redo that. I just had a little interruption. I'm so sorry, you guys. That looked so yummy. Been a while since I actually had pizza. Really? Pizza is nice. No, no, please, no. <laughs> Too much interruption, got it. Okay, I'll restart it. Dang it, I see how it is. Hmm. 
Yeah, more tangents. If that's okay with you guys. I've gotten more confident in like talking. Basically, most random stuff. It's almost 2 a.m. for me, so I gotta go. Have a good, have a good stream. Choo choo, choo choo to you too. Good night. Bye bye. Just cloning. Good night, Jess. Good night. I can only eat a little bit of pizza if it's like it has pepperoni in it because like I'm allergic. Like anything that has to do with pork, I'm allergic to it. Ugh. No, I passed that. Just because like I got disconnected. How dare you? Where's the justice in this? Good night! I will eat the remaining 8 slices. I know. I know of no restraint. Yeah, you can eat. As long as it's like... Something that I can't eat. Sorry about the sudden silence, I'm probably eating and, and I don't want to talk while my mouth is full. But dang. Mozzarella has something. I don't know, like, mozzarella is really tasty. I usually uh, choose like cheese pizzas with mozzarella ones in there. It's like five cheese pizzas. And it's really good. But it's more even better if it has like veggies and like green pepper on it. I know that green bell peppers are not for everybody. And I can understand that. But... I love pepperoni, but a good spinach and chicken pizza is wah, too. Yes. Good spinach. Like, I had a, um, a cheese and spinach, uh, pizza once before. Yeah, the dub is in Korean. Um, it used to be Japanese on my end, but I didn't like how, um, I didn't like how prune juice sounded. In the Japanese dub, so I moved to the Korean dub, and oh my goodness, he sounds like Magni Desmond. <laughs> oh my goodness, he reminds me of Mama so much. I had to switch to the Korean dub. I will weigh it against this feather. Mm. If your souls are lighter than this feather, I shall grant you passage into the realm of ever gleaming gold. Mm, bell peppers? If it's like the one that's like slimy, or it's like kind of grimy, because like sometimes whenever people cook bell peppers, it's kind of slimy. But on pizzas, I don't know why, but it's really crispy. It's so good. I love crispy bell peppers. Like whenever you bite into a pizza and then you hit that crunch. Mmm, so good. However, should your souls be heavier, you will be banished from this world to become food for hungry monsters. What if my soul is too heavy? For my soul, with all my, with all my intellect and knowledge, my soul is bound to be heavy. I don't think it works that way, Wizard Cookie. I knew I should have read page through the thicket old encyclopedia before leaving. Witness the results. Your souls are exceptionally light. Three of your souls combined are much lighter than the delicate feather. 
You don't seem to be happy, Wizard Cookie. Your trials are complete. You may pass through the final gates to the Kingdom of Gold, to the place of eternal opulence, untarnished, untarnished by time itself. Aw, birds! It's Akitos! Yes, that's. I, I think this is based off of like the Sphinx uh, riddles, I think. Uh, Pao is basically somewhat similar to this. Uh, the. Huh. The current update right now, which is the Lost City of Gold, is basically based off Egyptian and a bit of like Aztec. Because, like, um. I do know that. Golden cheese cookie looks like more of like the sun god Ra, but like somewhat. I'm just gonna put it somewhat. She looks like that because like she does have like a sun like vibe to her, but she kind of looks like those like uh, Aztec like getups, like what's a portals or something. Oh, cool! Those are my favorite cultures to study. Same. I love Mayans and like Aztecs and also like Egyptian stuff. I, I love those little doodles they have, like, the, the hair and how it grips. It's just, you're gonna stream soon, too, right? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I love studying, so... Whenever, like, we have to touch upon, like, some topics that has to do with, like, studying one's culture, it's so fun. It's way more fun than math. I would spend hours just, like, listening to, like, his history and culture of, like, other, like, countries. Even hours, too. Like, I do know, like, in Filipino, um, in Filipino education, it's always mostly about, um, Tagalog, basically, like, Tagalog, um, history and stuff. But rarely you'd ever see myths told that's in the more lower regions. Which is, like, it, it is an unfortunate thing. Because, like, it's not really... Or maybe, I'm not really sure whose fault is that, but like... Once foreigners have to like realize that most um, cultures and like other like stories that are being told like in, in our country basically, that it doesn't belong to one region alone, but it belongs to other separate regions. And they're like, oh, well, I didn't know that Mindanao existed or I didn't know that um, the Maranao and the... The Sariwan, Sarimanok and stuff, and like, my dude, <laughs> that's that's a different region altogether. Uh, especially like the story of Lanao and why how it came to be, and people were just like, oh, is that so? I didn't know. And like Tarangian as well, they don't know. Like it's mostly I, I do get it. Like it's mostly because like Tagalog or like Manila and Cigar is basically like the main land. So, nobody really cares to like talk about the other regions because it's the province anyway. But it does like if people would realize that it's really like our country's region culture, especially vegan. Uh, they they do have other like cultures, like example, like why their city looks like more Spain Spanish. It's like man, we we need to study more of that. Good afternoon, thousand. Hello, welcome. And that's something that's not often taught in Filipinos in the diaspora of national national movement and colonialism. Yes, it is. It's it's unfortunate. It's even it's it's also in our country as well. Like I did have this post one time that um I did skip Filipino in like I skipped Filipino classes to join uh the college because we shared school with the college before, like Bukidnon State University, I guess. We shared that one with that place, and then, uh, basically, we uh, the college were teaching history during, and then in tandem of my class back then, we also were learning Filipino during the late afternoon, and then I just skip it, and I uh, I just go to the history, world history classes from the from the college one because like it's more interesting. Because it's already been taught to us very early, like, um, in sixth grade, for example. But it's being taught again in, in, in high school. I've heard about Jose Rizal for, like, the nth time already. I know what's 
like he's he's a pimp boy he loves to like flirt with the ladies he knows a lot of like languages he knows how to raise he got shot for being like involved with andres bonifacio we already know that we already have heard that for many times already i don't have to hear that again and again and again so I'm just like, oh yeah, I'd rather listen to other cultures instead if you're not gonna teach anything else. I know it's basically... It's not the teacher's full fault. Because it is like... The curriculum basically is dictated by DepEd, so it's not really their fault. Like, super fault. But they do have like... Th there's like... Complacency there too. So I can't really like... You know, like, oh, it's their fault. Like, they're lazy. But it's more like... DepEd doesn't really like. They they don't want to like um teach new things. Hmm. That's true, Pao. Like, hold on. For me personally. Knowing more about other place makes you aware of the world. Because I think ignorance is more like rampant if you're not educated that other people existed. I was just more fortunate enough that um I was raised basically in the, in the internet. So I know more cultures and people of other places like in Europe in the United States and etc. Like I know more about the world because I basically know a lot of people from other places in the world. But if you don't know other it's it's basically gonna be like stems and ignorance basically. Like oh I don't know that Philippines was that and that or I didn't know that Philippines had more than other regions. I thought that it's more of like a my goodness, I have to restart again. Uh. It's like they don't know that there's there's just more than just Tagalog, basically. I don't know why. It's more like trying to like unite every like region into one umbrella or one term. I, I get that it's much more better in the long run, but it does erase individualism from other regions as well. I know it's I'm sorry if like I'm I'm already in a in a more like negative tangent, but it's basically like how why it's also bad I guess like we don't have to like talk about other cultures like in a in an enriching way. I'm just really fortunate like my college uh taught uh Maranao studies. Because I, I was like, oh my god, actually like a Filipino study that has to do with other side of Filipinos. Like wow. The world would be a better place if everyone knew a little more from other perspectives. It does. It would help. Because like, in my opinion, I think a lot of like, conflict stems from ignorance and unable to like, know the context why they are either hostile or not. I, I do know that all cultures are not perfect, but the fact that um, there's a lot of things going on than just like that. I don't know, I just like studying is so fun in context of like learning of like other cultures really. I, I wish I could like I wish I took um international studies instead, but I was not accepted because I kept failing math. I hate you math, you ruined me. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's already over. I already got my degree now, but I did wish that um I had the chance to learn more because like in the end of the day, I'm learning a lot of languages in my spare time already. I wish I could have a more formal education other than like picking and learning uh bits by bits of like other people's languages from online learning or just like trying to like mingle with them, you know? In the end of the as much as I did get like N3, um, N3, um, I have a JLPD N3 uh, certificate basically, I passed that. 
and I didn't have any formal education of like Japanese, but I still managed to pull through. I studied, I started when I was 11, so. A lot of things were going on. But imagine if I had formal education on that. Would be nice. What the fuck? Like, he can't just stand there. Get out the road. Hong Kong. Did you just hear that? They said, ha ha. What's your problem? Can't you see that I'm late to the party? Hong Kong. What the fuck? That's so weird. Huh, your speech balloons look weird. Dude, he broke the fourth wall. What the hell? What on earth, Brett, are you talking about? Every cookie drives an awesome car. Oh, he, he changed the topic. He dodged like, oh, I, I just broke the fourth wall. Oops, I gotta change the subject. That's interesting. I plan on picking up a fifth language soon, but I'm still thinking if I should learn German or Japanese. I suggest... Like, okay, I would give you, um... Uh, uh, a a a preface that um Japanese is easy if you have an understanding of Sino languages. Like if you know Mandarin or Cantonese or anything that has borrowed Chinese um writing system, it should be easy to learn. But if you're starting from scratch, and hello, hi, bug brains, welcome. We were talking about like uh, languages. I'm so sorry if like there's like a tangent during me going through stories. Hello, and thank you for the follow. Hello, welcome. Um, as a, as I was saying, um, if you don't know like other borrowed Chinese languages, it might be difficult because it's a new writing system. So. Like, if you're more comfortable with, like, like, the Roman, like, ABCDs and stuff. Like, Latin American or whatever. It's much more easier. But if you're trying to learn Japanese uh, from the scratch, it would be a bit harder. And it takes more time to adapt. So, if you're willing to spend more time learning from scratch, like, Japanese, I think I suggest that it, it's worth the try. And it's not a waste of time if you do. As long as you are willing to sit through the entire learning process, it should be fine. I barely speak English, so it's still impressive to me, Raya. Yeah, a lot of people are monolingual, so... I think knowing more than two languages is a very good feat in itself. In Philippines, it's, nor it's a norm to have a basic understanding of Spanish. But you're... In, we also have like other languages in, in our country, like we have Kapampangan, we have Ilocano, we have Bisaya, Cebuano. I mean, Bisaya and Cebuano are somewhat the same, but not either. So yeah. I, I'm glad I can help because like, I've been learning languages since, you know, like I said, I've been learning languages since I was 11. And I think people try to jump to the gun way too early and they want to dive into that juicy part of like oh i want to learn japanese and understand without subs right away but it's very like the difficulty curves way too sharp oh really learning spanish is really fun i hope that you enjoy the learning um, journey because like spanish is like i also i'm also learning spanish as well um, because one of my friends are Spanish and I think it's also a prerequisite that you do know a bit of Spanish if you were a Filipino. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing, Mashi. If you don't, like, actively practice your language that you learn, you basically forget forget it. Oh, 
그 위대하고 고매한 신의 이름을 친구 부르도 부르다니. Come on, Serado, Abre or something. I got a lot of like loan words from Spanish in our in our language basically thousand you're basically you'll basically know i basically know spanish if you know tagalog slash bisaya a little bit of like malay i guess i yeah, have the american debuff so monolingual malamao but i can understand a bit of good amount of spanish and tagalog and i want to learn bisaya but my mom is, isn't always supportive hmm that's the thing I think people like if you were like a first um like first generation like um what's it called like immigrant they don't teach the language for some reason I think it's out of fear and embarrassment because like you're trying to live as a new citizen of an of a new country and you're trying to like abandon like the old life basically so they don't teach their kids um that language but then again it differs from person to person but that's basically one of my friends like reason that um they're trying to move on from the past like living in that area and nobody would understand um their language if they were speaking for example chinese and if they're gonna like speak chinese and uh in some parts like not all parts but some parts of the um america and people would be like shut the fuck up insert slur here you should speak english and obviously nobody wants that right like be confronted like that it's very um humiliating and embarrassing so i think they want to spare their children that kind of like embarrassment as well or like humiliation so i do understand their perspective I have it. any chance. I'm totally I'm late for my party. Are you trying to steal my spotlight or something? Let's keep moving, my friends. All those lights are giving me a headache. Warning, warning. Public offense check. Taking plane's name in vain. Willful obstruction of the road. You will receive 20 penalty points. Oh no! I love Marzipan! They're so cute! Look at those almond ears! Do you guys see the almond ears that they have? It's so cute! I just noticed it. I thought that it was like, um, I thought it was bread, but it's actually almond. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable. What? You say that dumb shit to natives, like they spawn so hard. You know, like I said, I think the issue with, the issue with a lot of things is more of like ignorance, really. It's not like, maybe some are willingly mean, but sometimes it's really just like fear of the unknown. Or it's like, they're different. Indigenous American here. I personally know Lakutan. It's very hard to get resources on native language around here. But Spanish has been fun too. Oh yeah, that's the thing. I don't know why, but some other languages that has that are not mainly spoken. Like, I mean, I think Lakutan is also being spoken too. But it's like, for example, um... Tagalog, right? So we have other languages too, but there's no and there's no resources of learning Bisaya, for example. It has to be taught verbally, basically. And even Kapangpangan, I think. The only book that we have for Filipino languages that isn't Tagalog is basically Baybayin. And that's an ancient language that's be not basically used by other people. But the fact that it's it exists basically it's more like um uh a testament that there was once a writing system um aside from the latin ones but basically the ones that are currently used for example like what i said um saya um Kapampangan, and other things they don't have any books about it so i feel you that's that's really unfortunate you know like having no resources because I think having resources of the language that you spoke, even if it's like indigenous, it should be preserved. Because like, I do know that oral passing of your language, for example, like if it's like orally taught, that's also okay. 
but it can get lost in time too, especially with meanings, for example. Oh yeah, I can read and write bye bye yin. I don't know if it showed it in hand count. I did see your bye bye yin, um, th the one on your table that you laid out. It's like your tablecloth, I think. I did see that. I, I know it was bye bye yin. I was, I was gonna say it to you, but I got really into your tarot reading. I forgot to like call it out. Yes! Did I hear that right? Penalty points? It can't be right. I only get bonus points for being extra smart. What the? Okay, Mr. Genius. We should find that golden cheese cookie or before we got those. Look at those jackals! They're so cute! Yeah, and anyways, back to the discussion. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to like move forward so it doesn't like lose connection. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh yeah, my class has it too. I think having your tradition... I'm just gonna say it here. Even if you're um, Filipino-American or just a mix of American and like another like culture, I think it's not bad to have where your... It's not bad to have your tradition on display. You're not less than any like Filipinos, for example, of not of, you know... You should be proud of that too, like, even though you don't know much about it because of, like, not being taught by your parents, but as long as, like, you treasure your roots, it's really, it's important, basically. Our traditions seem to be not prevalent here anymore, it's a shame. I mean, maybe if it's, like, I'm not sure, I think indigenous um, languages are still taught orally, and documented in a different way i'm not really sure because like for example here in maranao we do have we're having um in our college basically we have this system where they teach maranao to us who are not maranao people it's, it's like a, a program basically so i hope that they also like put some programs like, they set aside, like, you know, like, their, their issues and just, like, just teach the, the, the cultures of that place because, like, I think it's still important because we're, we're slowly losing culture, basically, and we're now s moving into, like, the digital culture now. Like, we're having more, like, memes and stuff. It's still culture, you know? Like, anything that we see in, in digital, basically, it's still a culture. Like, we have phenomena that only works in the digital world, and we have our own, like, superstition, or, like, for example, like, creepy pastas and, like, copy pastas, anything that has to do with, like, it's, it's also called a tradition that's basically a tradition to the internet. But I wish, like, real-life tradition now, like, IRL tradition is more preserved and treasured, because, like, we're losing it the more digital is going more advanced and we're now like having the same culture basically because we're all like in the same place in the internet still treasure the fact that i'm a filipino but damn they really made me feel like so alienated when growing up yeah that's the thing too with films i think i heard that come on in i haven't seen you around first time in here uh, are you talking to me? Whoa, you look like you could use some loosening up. Come on, dance with us. The music is awesome. Here, they are still taught, but you take college classes. Otherwise, it's mainly elders who know the language and culture. It's hard to learn culture firsthand. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like... You know, the elders, they're not gonna... They're not forever, you know. I think... I forgot what it's called. Like we have traditions, for example, like um we have specialized tattoo like ways of tattooing here in Philippines. It's the one that's Apo Ma Apo Mang Od. Basically they she does have grandchildren that passed pass it down to them. But like it's it's the fact that they hone the craft more delicately and they know it more better. And there, there could be like lost um, process as they pass it on, and depending of how willing 
the 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 new apprentices. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. The Ifugo and Cordel Cordel Cordillera tattoos. Oh my goodness, I can't spell. I can't fathom this story on 200 years from now, trying to piece together meme culture or anything. Oh, for real. They would have like, they would probably study how what's the phenomena, for example, like the viruses, uh, cybersecurity, and whatnot. Hi, Loren, hello! Are you back? You're just like lurking. I'm sorry, you guys, like, I'm not sure if this topic is deep or not. But um, I'm really passionate when it comes to like culture and studying um, languages and culture and just like history in general. I'm very like I'm really into it. If I could, I could also like talk about it for hours, especially like um, biology too. I like biology and like um, microbiology as well. I just came back, yeah, I ate, I ate up instead. Oh, welcome back, hello. Hope you got a good eat, because I did got good eats. Yum yum, pizza. I'm going to start my day now, be right back. Yeah, we'll go on. Go get your coffee or food, especially breakfast. It's like, what, 2.28 EST. It's now um 11 p.m. For uh, PSD, if I converted it right, I do know that it's three hours minus, so yeah. Pizza, yes, we love pizza. So just dance and don't worry about anything. <laughs> Everyone is dancing. The locals must be really dancing. The locals must love dancing a lot. Of course we do. What else is there to do when you're young and free? God, I wish, I wish I was young and free again. Like, you know, without the back pain. Cause dang, I'm 29, but I'm still like, ooh, my, my back. I love culture and I'm glad it came into this topic. Oh, that, I'm glad too. Um, just, I just love culture, man. Like, knowing the past and how people are made. I think I told um how this before, or like, Bibinka Bear this. I love how how civilization came to be and what their cultures and how they were able to like survive during the like we have technology right now right we have technology right now and we are able to do things that they couldn't but before that they have they don't have tools and they have to like improvise so you know it's it's really nice I think there are also tradition that we can't do anymore, but they used to do. And they can only do. Especially like, for example, like making structures that can last for years or decades even. Did you know that like the cities before, they used to survive. Now cities nowadays, they could barely last a couple of decades before like crumbling to the dust. So yeah. Survivability is hard before. Exactly. We didn't have like technology to have like medicines, for example. I'm actually glad that people are so smart. And they are... Their desire to live. And desire to like... Th their ingenuity, ingenuity and... Their desire to like move forward is really... Like, you know, I look up to that. The pursuit of knowledge is really fun for me. And if, if I had the time, I would probably keep studying as long as there's no, like, academic pressure. Because, like, I think knowing everything about around us is so fun. Hello, Nisa! Welcome! Hello! I could talk... So long on history and people, I almost become a historical archivist, actually. <gasps> really? Oh. That's so nice. Like, knowing like knowing history, like, for example, if we had more knowledge about... I, I wish we had more knowledge of how people used to do their daily lives. Because there's so many... There's so many things that we don't know about their... Their, um... Basic lives. 
we do know that well they have their their probably common bath or they ha they used to use like fruits and bugs as, as like a dye even now we still use the bugs as dyes but now we have like synthetic stuff where we could like create um other parts without killing or needing those things anymore for example um we have sugar substitute now right and we don't have that before we had like only honey and just sugar from sugarcane or from fruits preservation and thinking about the people and how they just live is so cool there are people just like us exactly oh also i'm just gonna say it here also um uh how do you know what's really cool about this like this story mode is they are egyptians right they are based on the old egyptian yet they are it's 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 the it's the fact that it's also technology like as you can see they're like technology now they're glitchy it's like um a cross between virtual and the ancients and it's so cool like i love the concept of like clashing digital and um the past together we will know more about the story as we progress but as you can see it's really i love the quirkiness about it yeah it's a cross between um technology and the olden times it's it's a good it's a good like topic that they touched upon here really it's it's really good Really? All the cookie must be trying to get through. Hello, all the cookie. Ooh, finally, Judah Brain, are you okay? Yeah, we're doing great. Oh, heavens, I'm here with Adventure Cookie. Do I hear music? It's very loud. Yeah, we're dancing in the Golden Cheese Kingdom. The music here is so loud. Do you hear it too? Where I'm standing, it's completely silent. We came to the temple in hopes to find someone, but this place is empty. You should come here. It's so crowded. The entire Golden Cheese Kingdom must be here right now. Where are you? We are... Oh, it's so loud in here. I can barely hear you. I'll call you back, old cookie. I don't think we will find Golden Cheese Cookie here. Let's leave this place before it gets even more crowded. Oh, crumbs. And here I thought I finally memorized all the dance moves. Oh no, he, he is down to boogie. I'm, I'm sorry, like, I'm, I'm like crossing in and out with like actual discussion and then the story of the, the cookies. It's just like I have to like... <laughs> I don't know, like talking to you guys about like... Topics in general is so fun. You know, before I used to be so shy about like talking about my interests because like people might seem it's like oh it's it's very boring or it's too nerdy to understand. Oh my goodness, I have to restart again. The, I like they gave the ancient Egyptian team to key chapter more tech themed people to separate the two topics. Exactly, they don't have that like ingenuity to actually let's combine the ancient themes and technology together i think i think it's a very good topic to combine i don't know like it gives like because you know in hindsight the egyptians were basically advanced it was a city like even the romans i guess like all of the things that we've seen before like the Colosseum, the pyramids they were all like as a statement that they were really rich and it was a civilization that was thriving i mean even now the the, the establishments that they have is like it's still standing even it's like it's buried very deep in the like for for a few feet deep like whenever they whenever they dig um uh ruins for example when they dig ruins it's still intact isn't it crazy it's just like like i don't know like their buildings are so resilient but when it comes to us like even an earthquake is enough to like crumble our <laughs> little cities or i mean to be fair i don't think they have that big of like earthquakes but the fact that it still stands even if it's like they're buried deep is amazing. 
we should build so we should build more like long lasting buildings i think for oh, hmm. i think it, italy also have like long lasting buildings i do know that some of them are run down but if they if you put some little sprucing up i think it's still viable as a living place i guess this is like nobody maintains it but if if it, if it was maintained i think it's very sustainable i don't know like compared like compared to the modern day like um buildings now it's it doesn't even last for a couple of decades you need to keep like maintaining it or it just crumbles for example except for filipino houses because filipino houses were made of nipahat and some straws it was built tempor for temporary and also they're very mobile it used to be you used to be able to carry um bahay kubo with people man that was good times i swear is it always night in this kingdom italy does and i think there are some other european countries like britain have old and used buildings still exactly it's been decades yet it's still usable where are you where are the usable buildings hello and nisa is pure vanilla met again mm, situational actually and um, unfortunately i don't think pure vanilla is sustainable in the meta because basically if you're if you want to pvp you have to have snapdragon so <laughs> but 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 the you know but the best part is snapdragon is actually anyone can get it just needs time to get he needs time to get yeah. black raisin cookie come have fun with us this place is fantastic they really have everything i can have the finest jam pies and donuts as many as i want and if i found all the books i wanted to read i even purchased a hat in the local style in this land you can find anything you can think of anything you, you got used to this opulence so quickly huh to be frank i don't really enjoy being here I bet they never had raisins. Raisins? Brrr. Yikes! What was that? Monsters! We'll take care of the... Well, these are even bigger than the last time. Ooh, I bet my coins on that one. Heh <laughs> heh. Huh? That's odd. Usually cookies get scared when they see monsters. Warning. Warning. Monsters detected. Containment protocol initiated. Monsters in sight. Target acquired. Engaging. Assuming position. Acknowledged. Position assumed. Roger that. Ooh, I love that. I love the marzipans. I love the robotic marzipans. It's so good. I think it's about sustainability of structure and other, other livability reasons. We just need to improvise like how Japan prepares for earthquakes. Making permanent structure might not be always an option like the vehicles are designed to crumble on impact to save the lives of the passengers more. Yeah, that's the thing too. Um, I think for, for me, if it's like Philippines, if I were to suggest for the, anything for Philippines, we need to follow the Netherlands way, okay? Netherlands has amazing water control. Like, you don't flood. Like, they have. They're like literally half of their um. Uh, land mass is underneath the water, but, and and then they get floods too. But they have like amazing water control that they don't get like massive damage during flooding. Like, we should learn from that. We don't have. I, I think our buildings as Filipinos are okay. It's just the fact that we need control with flooding because we we are an archipelago with but we don't have any control with you know i don't have control with how floods work because like there's so many floods in our country nowadays like man i think it's an easy way to solve if we know how to solve it but you know <laughs> life is not perfect i Target neutralized and captured. Well done. 
Hey, listen. You didn't even flinch at the sight of those monsters. Why would I? They're for the monster games tomorrow. Monster games? Yeah, we make those beasts fight each other. Everyone makes bets, the matches are exciting, it's fun. Also, yeah, I know, like, it's it's gonna be somewhat political now we're talking about, like, how we should, like, do the things. But really, we get floods all the time. It's already the burr months, yo. The burr months is so, like, okay, for the people who live in America, burr months is basically... Flood month, storm, storm, uh, season, or storm surge season rather. We have nothing to fight it with. Anyways, glad to be here. Nice vibes. Thank you so much. We're just really here to chill, and I'm just really a nerd. <laughs> I'm just a nerd who just wants to play games and talk about other hobbies. So I'm glad that you're having fun. Welcome. All of us here kind of like know each other, so I hope that you didn't feel like out of place. That's also my worries, but you're always welcome. Very gets very industrialized, motivated, unfortunately. We were in a bit of crisis for housing right now. You know what's also good about the America is your, the American land mass is really like, there's no division or like huge um separation with water in philippines there's like a lot of separation basically as an archipelago there's so much water that's basically why hoen gets voted down because there's too much water in hoen <laughs> too much water <laughs> right here in the huge coliseum oh my gosh we're going to the coliseum we're gonna fight we're gonna see aniki guys don't need don't nerd it will crash the game Nar, My nerdy tangents! Around here, instead of storms, it's mostly blizzards. Blizzards and tornadoes! Like, you guys have tornadoes or like, um... A... What was the other, the bigger tornadoes? I forgot what it's called. Uh... Oh, I'm glad. That's also my worries. Like, because, like, um, uh, in hindsight, we all know each other already. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm streaming with for my friends, but I'm really glad that you're, you're, you know, you feel at home here. Because, like, we really just here to chill. I like to chill. Cyclones, yes, cyclones. Like, you guys have those sp spooky stuff. Like, you guys also even have those, like, tornado warning. And Oh my goodness. Here's the Colosseum! Oh my god. Look at the Colosseum. It's so... It's so digital. America is so big. Each part of has its own weather and nemesis. Yes, I think... Was it Texas or... Arizona that has a lot of like typhoons? Like, not typhoons, but rather um tornadoes. And like the sand, whatever it's called. It's like so many stuff. Fire season. Oh my goodness. I think you guys also like have to deal with man-made um, wildfires and also um, nature-made um, forest fires. Tornado Alley. Oh my goodness. At least you guys know like when to like, you know, find, uh, find shelter basically. But in, in our case, like, it's trying so hard it's fine to hard shelter in in during flooding seasons because it, it's very unexpected even though we are aware that there is a typhoon coming but the flooding is so unexpected that we have to flee in advance in case that um rains are starting because there was one time um a flash flood happened and it really was so big that the i mean the damage was so big that it did leave like a massive break, I guess. Like no no schools, no work was happening for a week. Because we were so focused on um rescue missions. The 
the cookie is so cute. Is it is it the golden cheese host the host cookie? I like it too because he looks like a cat. Meow. I love cat. Tonight we have a very special surprise in store for you. Welcome to the monster games. Yay! Dude, that's Aniki. What was that? I couldn't hear it. We're going to need a louder round of applause. Are you ready? The new Battle Dreadful Beasts, freshly delivered for your entertainment. They have the nerve to invade our glorious kingdom. Now it's your duty to teach them a lesson. Am I right? Ha 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 ha! Oh my goodness. Our jam chilling match is about to begin. Enjoy! I almost forgot. Tonight we are honored to have our very special guests with us the venerated mozzarella cookie, smoked cheese cookie, and his reverence, high, high priest cheese and bird. Oh my god. Do oh, mozzarella cookie! She is so cute! Oh my goodness. Ooh, how many possible. Ooh, so many possible outcomes. How should I place my bed tonight? It's just a squabble among lowly beasts. They'll be tearing each other apart either way. I wouldn't invest much time if I were you. Wow, what a what a what a fun guy. Uh, poor monsters. I shall welcome them with open wings. Everyone deserve healing. Chirp chirp. So many cookies have gathered to watch the monster fight, huh? Perhaps it's a local tradition. Instead of trembling in fear, these cookies reverse the invader's aggression on each other. Pretty smart in my book. Heaven and eat. I have had an idea. I know to meet Golden Cheese Cookie. What should we do? Everyone, over here! We come from the outside too! Allow us a chance to fight the monsters. Tonight, victory will be ours. Ooh. Looks like we have many unexpected contenders. What the heck? Her hair can hold shit? Oh my goodness. That's so cute! How bright and intriguing. I'll bet my coins on them. Cookies from the outside? Outlanders in our kingdom? It's simply not possible. Could they truly pass burnt cheese cookies trials? Yes. H how else would be here, huh? What's your plan, Crack Raisin Cookie? We came to meet Golden Cheese Cookie and now we have to fight those monsters in the arena? That's exactly how we meet her. Remember, they said Golden Cheese Cookie hates chaos? And we're going to make some noise here. She's bound to appear to see what's going on. Wow. That sounds like a great plan, Black Crazy Cookie. Hey, monsters, come at us if you dare. Time to wreak havoc. Oh my goodness. My cats are... <laughs> my cats are going crazy at my bed. They're like running around and like screaming, Meow, 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 like... <laughs> They're so silly. Yum yum game game cheer one bit Hello Thank you for the one bit yum yum game game Hello Welcome I wonder what happened to Ginger Brave and the others Me too I hope they didn't get caught in a trap without me Those pesky traps If it weren't for my trusty rope Ooh good jelly I would have been toast When you said there's a cookie waiting for you back home Huh? You're welcome. Is this a PC game? Oh, it's not actually. It's it's a phone game, but I do have a, a, a phone emulator called Elite Player. My phone overheats a lot if I play this on my phone. So I did use a PC version, which is um using a, a phone emulator basically. So my PC can handle it and not my poor phone. That's probably gonna overheat. <laughs> If I, if I, you know, if I play it on my phone. But you can play it on your phone if you prefer it to be more portable. I prefer it on my PC so it's easier to access. At least so it doesn't heat up. Remember you said you need to get home in one piece because there's someone waiting for you to come back? Well, yeah, um, yeah. 
Uh, I'm not really sure who he's talking to, but I have an inkling it might be Blackberry Cookie. Oh, uh, mm, hey, mm. he has a sweet brush. Just kidding. Maybe he doesn't, or maybe he does. It's really up to the dev. It's really up to the devs if they are gonna canonize Blackberry and Adventure Cookie. See, he's not gonna say he's. It's not family. What the hell? I guess there's someone very important to you. What else would make a seasoned traveler like you think of home? Ooh. Mm. Abayo phone. Basically, Abayo phone. <laughs> Abayo phone. Eh? Huh? What's that? Looks like a huge arena. I wonder what's the cookies of the Golden Cheese Kingdom used, used for. Ooh. Golden Cheese Kingdom was well known for its peculiar way of dealing monsters and lawbreakers. Oh, okay, I thought it's PC game. The game is available on Steam. It's Cookie Run Oven Smash. Nice game. Oh, really? I never knew that Oven Smash exists. I only know Oven Break exists, which I said I was gonna switch to Oven Break eventually, but I'm, I'm really trying to like catch up with the story first and then I finally like do the dailies. Whoever is so greedy, they were deemed dangerous to society and were sent here to be taught a lesson by entertaining the entire kingdom. Yeah, ancient civilization used to have like entertainment. I think I I'm curious and I wish to learn about chariot riding. Like I do know like um it's more of a sport really. It's like soccer. Like, it's like soccer for Americans, basically. Like, the chariot racing. Oh my goodness. I, I wish to learn more about that, but there's not much said, basically, with chariot racing. All I know is it's basically a sport back then. We could also joust with chariot racing, I think. I might be recalling wrong. But I do know that um, chariot racing was a popular thing back in the days. Ooh. This place was called the Golden Cheese Coliseum. Whoa, olive cookie, you're sweating. Olive oil, don't mind it. <laughs> I tend to do that when I'm excited. Yes, this was the gold. This was the Coliseum for the Golden Cheese Cookies. A simple punishment wasn't enough. If you broke the law, you had to fight or crumble and entertain the crowds at the same time. Huh. I wonder what kind of place this kingdom was. Oh, would you look at that? An ancient ledger. How convenient. Wait, how is it like soccer? No, it's not like soccer, soccer, but more like it's it's to the point that they have their own teams, you know? And it's something that people were super excited about. I think... I'm not sure, okay, because I, n I never studied further from it, but like, I do know that there were teams for the chariot racing, and everybody was raving for those stuff. Like, oh my god, there's a chariot racing, and everybody was like, watching it. Like, it's in a coliseum. It's not really like, it has balls in it. Haha, <laughs> balls. But like, it's more like the fact that, um... People are so into it that I'm not sure if it cost fights like soccer did. Like I do know like soccer has a lot of like people brawling each other because like, well my team is better than your team. Oh yeah, but my team is better than your team. Like, come on then. <laughs> like <laughs> they just throw hands and then they also like wreck establishments because like they just wanna like support their team. But like it's so much there's so much interest that generated from that sport that it became very prominent. That's basically why I said it's like soccer or basketball for us Filipinos. Like it's basically like everybody was looking forward for chariot racing. And it, and to be fair, it's really fun. Like there's so many sports from the ancient times that are very that are not common anymore. But still, like, it was something that everybody was super into. They were, like, watching in a coliseum, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, would you look at that? An ancient legend. They must have used it to document the fights. Cheddar's the mole. Rods the coliseum for tyranny over cheese birds. 
They even brought sand jelly worms to fight in this arena. What the hell? How would how would you lug a big ass worm to an to an arena? What the hell? Local football is local football is like that here. I was worried about it for tonight. Oh my goodness. Like I'm not really sure. Do you guys like I'm asking because like I'm curious because I'm not really in the sport. So like do you guys bet for teams? Because in, in, in Philippines we used to bet for our teams. Like it's not a common it's not a common like um tradition, but sometimes we bet for our sport. Like for example, we bet for uh, Mani Pacquiao and then like, oh well, Mani Pacquiao won, so I'm gonna get the bet. But sometimes it's not being paid. So it, it's more like, oh yeah, I'm gonna win. And then they don't pay. <laughs> Ooh, is that so? We always bet the Tabong. Oh my gosh, Tabong. Chicken fights are... Or cockfighting, actually. That's what they call it in, in English, is cockfighting. Cockfighting is very... It depends. Because, like, although my dad does not participate in cockfighting, most of the dads in Philippines have participated in cockfighting. And... <laughs> it's a funny sport. And in, in, in context, like, because, like, dads take care of chickens more than the kids. <laughs> Some people do. Um, okay. That, that's really good to know. I, at least it's like a universal thing that um, people actually bet for teams during sports stuff. Because I thought it would. it's like a, a more phenomena that's like less common. So I, I wanted to know. Yeah, boxing is a pretty heavy bet too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, all the memes of the father prioritizing chicken. Yeah, so like, okay, for the American people or people who are not used to this, like, fathers take care more of their fighting chickens than their kids. Like, they put, like, good food. They have, like, they, they brush. Like, not all, but some some seasoned cop fighters that take care of chickens, they even brush those chickens. Or even, like, I don't know, like, they have like some special cage for them because like some some chickens have their own like little cages you know like it's just like normal cages but cockfighting uh chickens have like a special cage where like nobody can take them they're so cared for that i think they would be treat they're they, they're like considered like a royalty basically that's why like people are more there's the, the that's why memes about fathers taking care more of chickens is like a common meme in in the Filipino like um uh, digital like space like it's just like oh look my dad is taking care of my chicken and like my my dad is basically the the chicken is basically the son now and not me kind of like meme <laughs> or like uh the meme of like. Enough! You've betted, uh, you've betted enough with the chicken. And like, no, I have to bet more of the chicken again. It's so funny. My grandpa takes takes care of like two chickens back at the countryside. Ooh, I think the ones who take care of the chickens more is like either your old like grandpa. No one for plenty of people do that for their fighting hunting dogs. Whoa, 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 wowza, holy moly, who? Th this Adam cheese cookie looks so pretty, what the heck? Let me just screenshot that real quick. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty, what the heck? Yo, 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 yoing. Uh. Oh my goodness. It's it's unfortunate that um it's unfortunate that she's not a playable character because she's just there. I love her design. Like the Adam cheese. Like the design is just really good. Oh my goodness, what the heck? She is. Your magnificent doll shines brighter than ever. So freshly baked. Hmm, not bad as I do say so myself. My glorious queen, may your splendid hands multiply our riches and wealth forevermore. 
When the cute cookie is an NPC or oh my gosh, smoked actually guys, smoked cheese cookie, the one that looks like porous, is not a playable cookie. I was in shambles. My friend was in shambles. I'm gonna get ready for bed right now, but thank you for the cute cookie gameplay and history culture talk. Good night, Lambda and chat. Good night. Bye bye, BB. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye pal. Female Egyptian characters are so well designed across the media. Exactly. I don't know. They're so pretty. I know, like, they can dress more differently, but they are. They're, they never miss how pretty they are. Like, man, so good. All this opulence, all this prosperity flowing like a, like a river is indeed my handiwork. Your brilliance truly knows no clouds, my queen. Oh my god, they're simps. Look at that. He's not playable. He has a name, but he's not playable. Unforgivable. Nisa's like, no. Oh my goodness, Ninja, if you saw me, like, no, oh my god, is it Sino from Genshin? I think it's Burnt Cheese Cookie. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Hold on, in a bit. The final victors from the Coliseum are Outlanders. Uh, cookies. Outlanders? Is there a problem with the con- Is there a problem with the connection? Look, it's Sino from Genshin Impact. Guys, it's him. Maybe one day he'll be in the gacha. Oh my god, I wish. Or even like as a guest character, you know, like if it from the the mermaid cookies were a guest character, I wish he could be a guest character too. They passed the three trials, my queen, but there was a whiff of fresh flour to their dough. Dough. They didn't even have the right to enter. Your brilliance, considering the fact that there have been a sudden rise in monster attacks. Perhaps these events are somehow linked. They didn't seem that bad to me. I certainly won a scrumptious sum of points thanks to the thanks to their prowess and battle. Hee <laughs> hee. Does he also make dad puns? I don't think so. But he's super serious. Sploot. I really love the Sploot emo. I'm glad that I made it. <laughs> I certainly... Uh, you know, Mozzarella is actually playable. Um, but we don't know if she's a super epic or an epic cookie. I just have to know because like, I was actually trying to save for her. So I have to know beforehand. But I, I hope that she's not a super epic. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like on my knees here. Please don't be a super epic. Because like she she'd be hard to get if she was the super epic. I'd be in shambles. Please no. This is making me install Cookie Run, but I don't want to add another gacha game to my phone because I know I might degen it. Um Honestly, Ninja, if I In my personal experience, Cookie Run is friendly to uh free to play free to play players but if you care so much about the meta then this is not the game because like the power creep of this game is very bad to the point that I'm it's very difficult to progress in the rankings but I don't care about that <laughs> I don't really care I just like the cute cookies you know it's just the bonus that I, I have meta characters on my team but yeah, and you earn a lot of like um, gems actually. If you're more interested in the epic cookies, you can get mostly everything if you just have to work on your arena. But you don't have to necessarily be on the top spot to earn a lot because I am currently master one right now. And I can get 17,000 gems. Once that once once the season refreshes. Oh, hold on. Recently just got back in CRK Sierra Cookie Run Kingdom came into the stream for Cookie Run motivation actually. Oh my goodness. I hope so that you were motivated because like 
In in this game, like their story is really good. I actually suggest that you go through the 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 current story event, which is the gem mermaids. It's very good. Um, they don't pull punches basically, and the characters are so good. Like their designs are very cute. I suggest that you go through it. And like I, the reason why I didn't stream the gem mermaid story. Is because it's best that you experience it first, and it does have some trigger warnings, I guess. Um, that that the story does touch upon um abuse and um what else? Like, it's not like it's very dark, but there is a, a dark stuff there. That I, I I'm not gonna say it because like it's gonna be a huge spoiler if I uh, admit it, but basically um there are dark tones in the story or the gem mermaid story, but it's really good like it's not for the shock value. It's it's really it's a, it's a well deserved um pivotal point of the story that I actually suggest people to actually read it if if. If they're interested in lore, that is. But if they're not really into that stuff, then that's fine too. But it's really good. It's well written. And I think out of all of the story, I think I prefer this a lot. Yes. I wish I could tell you guys the story of the, uh, the story, but it's it's a huge spoiler. But basically... Hmm, how do I put it this way? The Gem Mermaid is basically... A what if version of Little Mermaid. It's like Grim Sales version, basically. Oh my god, if you bug, if you love Cookie Lore, then you will love the Gem Mermaid story. I think you should try it out. And it's it's not that hard to beat, I think. But I think the last stage is very difficult. I will give like a little heads up. If you have crit in do like if you have crit cookies. Like, um, who was that cookie? I forgot. Um, the one in the guild, Gacha, I forgot her name. But if you have her, it's definitely needed. Because, like, that, the one of the last boss is only, you can only kill them with critical damage. I think that's best that I could just say that because, like, preparation is best needed. But it's a very good story. I wish I could um I wish I could like stream it, but it's such a good story that it it's best it's best that it's experienced firsthand than watching someone. I think this is okay because like the story is like main story, everyone can go through it. But the gem mermaid story is um a side story. So it's best that um someone else experience it first. A single error? So what? Our riches won't go anywhere because of that. But your radiance! Smoke cheese cookie. Your enormous greed has always been troubling. Sometimes you seem to forget that all you see around is mine. And mine alone. Yes, and the same goes for the final decision on this matter. How would you have... How would you have us proceed, your majesty? The tiny heiress is beneath my attention. Besides, I have better things to focus on. Building a better, more prosperous world. A world where everyone could live in peace, unknowing of needs of sorrows. Abundant, beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, no! Okay, good. Okay, good. It didn't... It's not... I have no... I don't have to retry. Okay, good, good, good. You're currently on chapter 14. Hold on, let me see. Chapter 14 is... Uh, Citadel of the Frozen Cliff. Oh! You're almost there! I was there too. I was stuck in this place for... Like, half a year, I think. So, no worries, um, the story is basically okay since it's permanent. Is this, is this still the cookie run with gacha? Yes, it is. Cookie run oven break is the one without gacha, but it's very extensive. Like, you have to actually 
it's more like a pay to win thing because you actually have to either pay for shit. Okay, so here I, I was gonna show you one bit about like how you earn uh crystals basically. So if you're a free to play player and you don't care about um you don't care about your placements because in because like your rewards for example if you're just here in my in my current position you could earn 20,000 uh, crystals and here i have, I have 72 72,000 uh, crystals just by doing arena alone i never paid anything i think the difficulty is already nerfed is it for um kingdom if that's so kinda yes it it kind of is but in general um don't be discouraged if you see like you see these it's a, a lot of meta characters and as much as like for example this one has like a lower um power but they do have meta characters that you have to be careful of you see that they have um a soul jam you have to be very careful with who you're facing with and you don't have to be sad that um these are all meta it's okay you just have to refresh and find your actual match you pick your battles and it shouldn't be that stressful because like if you think too hard about the meta and how you can't beat everyone because like basically everybody has the same characters at this point it's just which teams are more better suited to what you have and once you have like overcome like the grief of like oh i don't have meta characters anymore and i can't beat them it's okay just the fact that you can earn gems is already a big thing and you don't have to pay money the dark cacao kingdom oh is that so is that the reason why i was able to move forward <laughs> Because I was able to move forward um just recently actually. I was not I was not able to like beat that place for a long long time. Because like it was so hard. I think the poison is just difficult to counter with. You what are you doing? Where are you taking us? We can work on our own. You are under arrest for causing public disturbance within the walls of the Royal Golden Cheese Kingdom Coliseum. You will be detained for the duration of the investigation. Can you at least remove the blindfold? I can't see a thing. Black Raisin Cookie is right. This is unfair. I think it's fair because you guys made a ruckus though, but... Mm. Remain silent until your verdict is decided. <laughs> God, what is this place? Jail? Oh my god, they're jailed for cookie crimes. Oh no! Stretch? Okay, I'll stretch. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I stretched and let me just get my kitty. My kitty, hello kitty. My kitty is here. Hello kitty, meow meow. Can you guys hear her purring? Oh my goodness. Where's my other cat's sake? The babies are probably somewhere. No! Don't eat the pizza! Oh. <laughs> she was gonna eat the pizza! <laughs> Silly cat that has hot sauce! You're not supposed to eat it! <laughs> Sorry about that. I was petting my cat. Did she try to eat my pizza? I mean, that's fine if she eats my pizza. But, um... It has hot sauce, and it's not good for them. So I had to, like, take it off of her. Hi! Hello! You climbed up? You don't eat the pizza, okay? That's hot sauce. I cook the pizza. I eat the pizza. <laughs> No! I'm sure the whole world would benefit from your... I'm sure the whole world would benefit from learning about the way you handle things in your kingdom. Like what? Putting people to jail? <laughs> crazy cookie, don't give, the, don't give them ideas! What do we do now? 
if all the cookies still looking for us. Oh, she's alright. I still have the phone, all the cookies. Oh my goodness! Get out! Get <laughs> my cat now knows that the pizza exists. And now she's like very desperate to go to my desk. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me just put the pizza on the, on the fridge. Be right back, guys. Just putting the pizza on the fridge. Where did I disturb your sleep? I'm sorry. Just stay here. Just kidding. Um, uh, where should I put you? <laughs> Did you guys hear my kitten? Oh my goodness. She started screaming. She started screaming. Yeah. Meow. Cool. What a great idea. Hello? Oh, all the cookie. Your phone works. Of course it works. That's why I gave it to you. Now tell me where you are. Hmm, how should I explain? We fought against an army of monsters in the arena. And all the cookies in the audience cheered and yelled. Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything like that. Adventure Cookie, did you hear cookies yelling? Huh? I certainly did not. This temple is as silent as Ninja Cookie's afternoon nap. Strange. Very strange. Yes, it is very strange. We won the fight and they sent us to jail. No, not that. I suspect there's something else at play. Could you do me a favor? I need a certain book from the from the Great Library. A book from the Golden Cities, Golden Cheese Kingdom. This book should explain a lot. I'll meet you there. Huh? Did I mention that we were in jail? Yeah, small meows. She's she's underneath my feet. Oh my goodness! Hi, kitty. Hi. You're screaming for your mama. I'm sorry, I woke you up. Hello. Hello. Look. Huh? Did I mention we, that we were in jail? We need to get out of here. But how? How do we escape to meet Olive oh, Cookie? Go, go. Look, the cross! They're coming from that little window! Oh, hold on. Here. Wouldn't it be better if you're facing that way? There we go. Go, go! They've unlocked the door for us! Black Raisin Cookie, is there anything your cross can't do? What can I say? I thought him well. Even better than I thought. Let's go! Thanks, cross! Dude, it's Akitos! They're so smart! The Marzipan cookie is nowhere escaping. Now where did we do Now where did Olive Cookie want us to go? The library! We must go to the Great Library! Okay, I'll be careful. It might fall down, okay? Little kitty. Stay low and quiet. Oh no, not again.
There we go. No, sure, sure, sure. Hello. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm sorry. What do you want? Yeah, come on. Yeah, my, uh, my cat has a baby kitten and they're running around now. They're at that age where they can freely roam around. Is this the library Olive Good wanted us to visit? This place is filled with pasta scrolls. And there's something inscribed on them. They use noodles instead of paper for writing. How unusual! So what did all of Cookie want us to find? A book about the Golden City. It seems the books are arranged alphabetically. Let's start with the letter G. G's nuts. Prongle tails. But I wish I could get, like, show a picture of my kittens, actually. Hold on, let me find... I think I had, like, a picture of them. Oh, we got I found one. We just save this one and I will put this on the stream. Put it in the corner so I can show you guys my cat, my little baby. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Or, or a little guest. My my kitten there. Pickles! Oh my gosh. Porchish. Porchish. Sig. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Pickles joined the PC. Yes. Actually, her name is. I'm not sure if it's Clarence or. I, I do know that I named a, a, ma a male kitten called Flayon. I do know that I named uh, a female kitten uh, because my friend requested a, a kitten to be called as Clarence. So I do have a, a kitten named Clarence. I'm not sure if she's Clarence or not. It's because it's dark. I couldn't see the patterns well. So this is the one who's visiting. Little kitty. Kitty knows the meow command is limited. <laughs> what the hell? Nar. Hold on, let me go back. Let's see. What do we have here? Generosity and greed. Interesting. Guide to urban planning. Coming back for that. What do you mean? What the fuck? The greatest cheese platters. Ooh. Golden City, huh? Where could this book be? Here, I found it. A book about the Golden City. Saku, hello! Welcome! Hello! I'm playing uh, Cookie Run and we have a special guest. My little kitty who's screaming for her mom. The mom is at the back. Uh, they're, they're basically communicating in each other and then the baby is like... Like screaming at the mom. So if you hear some cats meowing, it's, it's them. It's the little cat family yelling at each other. Sorry about that. <laughs> if it's disruptive, I'm so sorry. Hold on, let me go back to the game. It's right here. Shh, stop yelling. You have to, you have to keep quiet in the library. Besides, so we don't really want them to find us, do we? What the hell? It's so cute, what the heck? See, what did I just say? What are you? Ooh. It's coming for us! Everyone, get ready! Oh my god, the mummy is so cute, what? What? Did I die? What? What her name is? Their name is Fettuccine, Fettuccine Cookie. We, we won. What's up with that cookie? It looks like it, it's a mummy wrapped up in noodles. And, and mummies are not supposed to walk around. Listen, 
Do you feel as your toes tingling? Like popping candy. Oh my god, we're having errors! What's going on? Everything is warping! I don't feel so good. My body. It's stretching like a batch of fresh dough. Look, the room around the mummy is crumbling apart. What the hell? Dude, that's fucked up. The thing is disappearing. What on earth, Brad? Oh, oh no! Look, even the floor! Run! Too late! We can't escape! Ah, I'm falling! Ah! No, I only have two stars! Nar. I guess they targeted the middle cookies, I guess. That's why, um... Serbet had to die. Have to die. Ugh. The network is unstable. What? What the hell happened? No, it's two stars. That can't be. It's okay. What is that? Okay, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I'm sorry that I, I like so many like tangent happened, but like I, I just love to talk about cultures and stuff. Oh goodness. It's okay. We, we should be picking up the pace now. Ginger rave. Wake up. C can you hear me? Whoa, wizard cookie, what happened to you? You look crumbled. Says you. Is this another jail? No, it's not a jail. We must have touched something we weren't supposed to and end up on the wrong side of the world. Wrong side? You know, think of something like a secret cellar or, sh or, or shady alley. There are places like that in all corners of the world. We're in the back rooms. Oh no, they went to the back rooms. Oh no. The kingdom was so shiny and full of life. I didn't expect to end up in an empty place like this. All those ones and zeros over there. What could they mean? Who knows? One thing for sure. That's not magic. More like technology. Whatever it is, it's incredible. There's no door or window in sight. Olive Cookie might know something. Let's call her. Huh? Come on, pick up. I'll die arrow again. The phone won't work! Did I break it? What? That doesn't sound good. How do we escape? But what's that? Those shapes. Some of feel... familiar. But they don't seem friendly. Be careful, cookies! Oh no. Oh no. It's Jover. Oh, they have injury. Like that, that, that um debuff. Oh no. Oh, there's nowhere to run or even hide. I'll try to call off cooking once again. Oh crumbs, no luck. God, I'm this close to panicking. Last thing I want is to perish in a strange place. What the hell? What? Good jelly, there you are. Adventure cookie! How did you find us? Haha, <laughs> we couldn't reach you by phone and got a hunch something happened. You ended up here after falling down from the from the running trap, right? So I kept running and running to get to you. I ran once, I ran twice, ten, twenty times. I ran and ran. Dude, he cookie ran. Oh my goodness. And finally I fell down too and ended up here myself. 
You you went through all that suffering just to help us? Adventure cookie! I You can't thank me later, lad. We must get to the reality fast. All of cookies waiting. Yeah, a title drop. Big cookie run. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm, how do we fix that a little two star thing? But first we need to finish we need to finish all of the all of the stages. Oh my goodness. There we go. Cookies! I'm so happy you're alright! Olive Cookie! I missed you! Three hours Cookie Run Chupad. Oh my goodness! Milky! Not her! Star! How did you manage to figure out where we were? Well, Olive Kiki used her smarts to crack this little riddle. I wouldn't have found you without her. Look at you. Having fun with the emotes. I love I love this one from Kuro, like the big <laughs> monk ass. <laughs> have you found the book? Here, it's about the Golden City. Let's see. Aha! That's just what I thought. Huh? Gingerbread, listen closely. Alright, I'm all ears. The place you ended up was in a virtual world called the Golden City. You won't really find anything like that in any other corner of the world. And it's described in this book. A virtual world? I don't understand. Dude, it's second life. What the hell? Everything we saw was not real? It's a world where everything exists the way golden cheese cookie wants it. Even time there stands still. Everything and I mean everything to be found in the real golden cheese kingdom now exists only there. Oh my goodness. From the great gilded pyramids, the small books. Like this one. That's why in our real world, the kingdom remains completely empty. While the golden city that you visited was filled with life. And all this time we were walking the same halls and streets. The Colosseum, the Great Library. But since we were in the virtual world, we kept missing each other. Huh? What? How what? Is that even possible? Golden cheese cookie soul jam. Huh? The soul gem holds amazing power. It knows about the cookie's hopes and wishes. That's how Golden Cheese Cookie must have created this world. But why? Why go such lengths to stay in a place that is not even real? Black Raisin Cookie, that's what we call escapism. We stick to one place and hopes that anything that we're going through is not real and we stick to something like a false world. I think even March from Final Fantasy Tactics touched upon this stuff. It's one of my favorite lines. Um, hold on, what? It's like, what did March just say? I forgot. Like, like, what was it? What was he say? It's just a dream, an escape from the real world. It's escapism. Can't you see? It's not healthy. <laughs> Uh, I love that. I love that so much. It's the same. It's the same um, thing as. It's the same thing as um. Uh, golden cheese cookies handling right now. Oh, hold on. I didn't know that my my PNG tuber kind of like glitched out. Give me a second, guys. Oh my goodness. Let me reboot this real quick. Sorry about that, I didn't even know. Hold on guys, it's still booting up. Oh my goodness, what happened? There we go. Peekaboo, I'm back. My bouncy self is now back. 
So basically, if I were to piece the story together, um, Golden Cheese Cookie is currently in an escapism thing. Like she's making a virtual world for herself that has all her old kingdom. Like she's creating her old kingdom and just stay there because like she prefers that she has her kingdom. Follow me. There's something I must show you. Ooh, we're going deep in the lore now. Oh my goodness. Keep fighting on uh, fighting stages. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Also, I hope that um, uh, golden cheese cookies like uh light effects or her skill effects doesn't hurt your eyes. I do know that it's a lot of like lights flashing. Let me know if it's like it's hurting your eyes, guys, and I'll try to figure out how to like dim it a little bit. Okay. Because we do have to go through a lots of uh, fighting stages, so. Let me know if it's like giving you guys difficulty or so I can try and fix it a bit. Oh, story time. There you go. This is the Golden Cheese Kingdom's tomb. Oh my goodness. Each of these of sarcophagi sleeps a cookie whose life is approaching its end. Back in the day, they would use special ingredients and unique techniques to preserve these cookies for long ages. Huh? What does that mean? And the cookies we met back in the Golden City. Yes. There are cookies whose bodies are kept inside in these containers. Dude, that's so... That's so morbid. <laughs> Mummies. Cookies? This sarcophagus by the entrance seems familiar. Jackal's head. Bird cheese cookie! Richie's cookie, the keeper of the gates. After all these years, he keeps guarding the gates of the kingdoms from intruders. It's unbelievable! All those cookies were mummies? It's so! Oh my god! <laughs> no! It can't be! They're in the virtual world! Oh my goodness! Dude, you know what? So had a very good premise. I think if I do know, yes. It's a quintessential for every isekai to have a harem, even even the one that has to do with the female protagonists. But isekai has a good, good like, you know, like it's a good story thingy where like everyone who has like escapism, like oh I want to be like in the game and I want to play or I want to be a a character in the game, but like it always ends up in in harem. I don't know what's the curse with isekai going harem or having to go with like. Um, silly rom. I, I get, I get it that romance do blossom whenever like MMO RPG basically. Uh, yeah, I do agree. It's a good story device. Like, I think one of my favorites is. I recommend to everyone that's watching. Um, I think it's the Duchess Fifty Three Recipes or Tea Recipes. I forgot the name. Uh. The Duchess uh, Tea Recipes. No. Oh my goodness! The cats! The dog came and said, Oh my goodness, no! That, sh that spooked me. Like, the dog tried to enter my room and my cat was like, Nah. -uh. Okay, let me just save this image and then I will show you guys. The tea duchess, yes, exactly. It's it's one of the isekais that's actually not focused on romance. And it's more of like growth as a character. It's really good. Hold on, let me just like get this real quick. This is this is how the manual looks like. The 50 tea recipes from the Duchess. It's a good it's a good manual. Like if you guys like isekai. But like, don't want the harem. It's a, it's a good one. And it's also historical. Like, if you want to learn more about tea, this, ma this manhwa actually puts so much delicate details 
of how teas are prepared from the first flush second flush of like darjeeling for example like there's so many things that's going on in this manhua and it's really educational i do recommend this to people who are interested in the genre of isekai Uh, the the teenage man. I only read a couple of chapters. Turned me off. Honestly, it's easy to grow when you're rich. Is that so? It's not really. I don't know. Like the tea is very the tea preparation is very educational in this manhwa. It's really good. Yeah, let me just uh, remove that real quick. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, Iseka has really good, like, it's, it's, it's had good premises, but it's just like people don't know what to tackle with it. Wait a moment, what about the mummy cookie that we met at the library? She was a mummy in the virtual world too. Perhaps there has been an error of some kind. Remember what the cheese birds back at the cheese store said? I do. They took care of all the cheese stored in the pillars. Now, it's just my theory, but I think each of those wheels of cheese must contain a cookie soul. The cheese birds took care of not the cheese, but the souls of each cookie from the Golden Kingdom. Golden Cheese Kingdom. Then it means the hole made by the beetles was... Probably the soul of that mummy cookie that you met. I don't know a lot of all of this, but the fact that the number of beetles have grown all of a sudden must be causing an error somewhere in the virtual world. Huh. Maybe we end up in that room of ones and zeros because of that error? Errors or not, to design and create a whole world like that is an amazing feat. Golden Cheese Cookie has created a whole, world, a whole new world just by herself. What a cookie thing to do, hehe. <laughs> who, who else if not a cookie could achieve something like that? Then, where is the real Golden Cheese Cookie? We still need to meet her. She must receive the message from the pure vanilla cookie and join us in saving the world. Golden cheese cookie, I believe. Oh, don't tell me she's dead. Shouldn't be too far from here. Oh my goodness. If she's dead, oh my goodness. That would be like... I mean, it's to be expected. Everything is a sarcophagus at this point, right? If she's dead, I think that would be... It's an expected plot twist, but it's still like fucked up in a way. No! No, I have to restart now! Yeah, okay, so my the game has like the tendency, like if you stay in one place and you don't rush it, it basically like loses its connection. It's so annoying! No! I'm sorry, all of the... All of the refreshes, guys, or the restarts, I'm so sorry. Hello, Sor Sorbert Shark. Hello, welcome. Where we are just going through the golden, like the new update, which is the Lost Golden City update, and I'm trying to get through it. I just get, I just like get through a lot of like tangent, and I keep forgetting that I should rush it, or else it would like lose connection. I'm so sorry. I talk a lot. <laughs> You guys are fun to talk to. So, it's just like, I, I can't resist talking. No, it didn't count. Okay, well... <laughs> Blah. Blah. It happens all the time. Let's see, I'm currently at 1727. I should be exiting this part portion soon. I'm almost there. Ooh. Oh, I see how it is. Hello. Yogi's of Tonin, who did it to Anguki Mudamia. 
you are going to You need to skip that. It's you! It's you! You're in a sailor outfit! Look! Yes! Phone battery is starting to dwindle. Oh no! Mashi, go, go charge your phone! Don't let it don't let it turn it off, okay? It's detrimental to your phone battery uh, phone health. Phone battery health, I mean. I did that one time. Yes, you gotta go to work. No, not taxes. No! It's it's the jumpy thingy again. Oh, no. Okay. Fine. I will. I'll do that. If you're done before I have to charge, thank you for streaming and made my night less, less boring. Oh, I'm glad! I do know that I talk a lot. I'm so sorry. Oof, ow. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, what the? Oh, my goodness. Oh no, it's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! Oh no! I have perspective issues! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry if I couldn't speak, like, I'm trying to focus. Oh my goodness, oh, I suck at the running portions. There we go. We get it! Don't worry, I'm at 13%. I have old PDs from bad charging freaking unpasteurized phones. <laughs> unpasteurized phone, what the hell? Same, I suck at the running portions too. Yeah, the running portions is kinda... Like... The way that it's being laid out, I do know that it has a guideline, but it does trip you out. Especially with a perspective. Picking up old phones, I give up. <laughs> go charge, go on, Nashi. Go, go get that. Ooh, I'm really good at solving puzzles. I got this. No way. Uh... Okay. Oh, it's mozzarella. Okay, okay it's mozzarella. It's mozzy. There we go. Wait, no. There we go. It's mozzy. And that's it. The puzzle is complete. What now? So this is how the Golden Cheese Kingdom cookies lived. Cool. I feel more close to the Golden Cheese Kingdom. And then another one. Looks like we need to complete this puzzle. Ooh, I'm really good at solving puzzles. I got this. But I'm gonna solve the puzzle either way. No. Ooh, okay. Ooh, it, it's, it's Golden Cheese. Okay. Uh, that and then that. Thank god, it's just like a turning one because I'm bad at like sliding puzzles. Ooh, Sorbet. Please don't spam emotes. Thank you. That's it, the puzzle is complete. What now? So this is how the Golden Cheese Kingdom cookies live. Cool. I feel more close to the Golden Cheese Kingdom. Let's see. I thought it was like a... I thought it was like the running stage. Oh my goodness. I just like preemptively tried to move. No, we're not over 
it's not over yet, nor. Okay, I hope this is over. What? I leveled up. Nice. Okay, hold on. Let me pick up some rewards. Oh. Got time jumpers. Did I have black raisin cookie? I'm not really sure. Ruler of the Golden City. Oh, hold on. Let me edit this one real quick. Maybe I could put Moonlight. Just 1 million HP. What the? That's hacked up. Remember what it felt like to lose. On the day when everything slipped away like grains of sand. Remember forever. Did you hear that just now? What it, what it felt to lose. Look, the big golden sarcophagus is standing alone over there. Is golden cheese cookie really confined inside? N no way. Is golden cheese cookie? She crumbled? Oh my goodness. I don't think so, Ginger Brave. Nice save. Would be fucked up if she was like... She crumbled. Oh my goodness. Who else can govern the past in a virtual world if not Golden Cheese Cookie? It's likely that she's still alive and crispy. Only her consciousness is connected to her imaginary realm. Her body is inside. Hold on, I, I need to put this... This, this, um... Let me find this one. There we go. Very, very, very relatable. Hmm. Best for this story. What what must we do to meet her? This stone was meant to a place of final rest. To celebrate the end of a worldly life, a stunning achievement. Surrounded by treasures and lamenting servants. Yet something is forced. Golden cheese cookie to come and confine herself in here all alone. I must know why you built this. I must know why you why you built your virtual paradise. I must find out the truth. Ah, the sarcophagus is shaking. Are those memories from the past? Oh, here we go. See, the war is over. Dark Enchantress Cookie is no more. But so is my kingdom! My temples, my gold, my treasures, and my cookies. All of them. They lost everything. All that was gleaming, all that was mine. Water carriers, my servants, my builders and architects, all those little cookies who played on my streets. Mozzarella cookie, whose stories always made me laugh. Smoked cheese cookie, we had our differences, but none cared for my kingdom as much as he. Burnt cheese cookie, who crumbled protecting my land. Oh shoot! I want to I want to hear this in Japanese. Uh, once I finish uh, everything, I might check the voice acting on the Japanese version. The Korean one is good, but I did hear the English dub of this part, and it's really good. Like the the voice acting nowadays in in 
And the recent stories are really good. They were all my treasures. My finest, most precious treasures. Blah. I don't even do it. I don't even do it. I Ooh, I like I like the tone on this. Like in the English, I think golden cheese cookie was anguished but in the korean version i think she's in denial and rather desperate so i like i like these changes you know in most dubs they do have their specific aim of the emotions of the characters that they're playing it's so good you understand now Built a built-up world because she missed her old kingdom. My dog is on me right now. Oh, hi, doggy. Hi. I can't move. Oh my goodness. Take care of your doggy. And all the cookies we met there. Her golden cheese with his dear friends. She didn't want to lose them. I know what it feels like. Golden cheese cookie is still inside that thing. Building her golden city? What the? You are to be commended. How do you find my city of gold? Did you enjoy basking in my golden glory? This voice! Until now, I allowed your presence in my domain. Because I thought you were all harmless and insignificant. But to come this far, I don't know if I'm impressed or annoyed. Fine, I shall grant you an audience with me. Ooh. Shiny. Huh? The light. Ah! It hurts. Yo! Giant woman! The disturbance in my city left and right. Enjoy being in the spotlight, do we? Too bad. I hate when someone tries so hard to watch shiny. Let's see how good you are in battle. Try earning your right for my attention. Oh my god, giant woman! Giant woman! Let's go! Woohoo! Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh my goodness! She hurts, alright. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, 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 hey. What? What's this? Oh my goodness, she hurts. Ah. Please pull through. Ah. Goodness. Ah, ouch! Wait, hold on. Maybe I could have holy berry cookie on this. Oh my god, we're almost there. Please! What is this? Data corruption. Please, we're almost there. Survive! Survive, no! No! It's all over. I almost had it. No! Ow! No! I almost had it. Okay, we almost had it. Maybe I could have holly berry? Oh my goodness, that hurts. We almost had it! No! It's okay. No, I don't have pitaya, unfortunately. I was unfortunate. 
I didn't get Pitaya. I only got... Wait, hold on. Let me... Get my... Characters, actually. No, I don't have him. Let's see. Uh, not you, definitely. Oh my goodness. Maybe I could use Holyberry. Uh, that's gonna be difficult. Data corruption. I'm not really sure if... Hmm. I do know that there is a guide for this in the in the Discord, but mm, I almost had it. Let me try again. I hope it works. If you get a cookie like Rai, I do I do have Rai, but I didn't build her. Oh my goodness. We're going back again. Unskippable cutscenes, let's go! My rice up the floor on that stage. Oh my goodness. Please. I wish you could skip all of this. Like, if you're already finished it, you, you just need to, like, skip. Oh my goodness. Who? Thank you for the follow, Sorbet. Thank you. Please. You almost had it. No, ow. Please, we almost had it. Ugh. The data corruption is so annoying. Uh It's not perfect star, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe off stream. I'll figure it out. Definitely. I just got my sure which is three star. Oh, congratulations! Woman. Wait, is it really over? <laughs> well fought. I don't know who you are, but you're good. Pretty good. Shall we take a shall we take a closer look? <gasps> Giant woman? Yeah. The floor is some follows golden cheese cookies orders. Golden cheese cookie is much taller than expected. Two cookies wearing hats. One wearing glasses. A one armed cookie. And the last one is just brave. To think such motley crew managed to cause all these pesky errors in my kingdom. How curious. Even better than I expected. Well then, go ahead, tell me. What brought you to my world of woven of illusions and regrets? To my kingdom of lights and ever gleaming gold. No, it's all Jover. Well, that's for the story. Wow! So I managed to clear the full story in about 3 hours and 27 minutes. Oh my goodness. Finally, I caught up to the story. Thank you guys so much for sitting down with me. I do know that there was a lot of like tangents that was going around. And even the pizza and then the, the iced coffee. 
a lot of things had to do with like you know like a lot of distraction happened and i think i would have finished the story more faster had i not have any distractions or tangents but i do appreciate you guys staying and listening to me and i guess i have to end my stream here i do know that i should do more but honestly i think i've been going long enough and i'm sure it's really late for you guys like it's like 4 a.m in esc and it's probably 1 a.m. in PSD, so I'd like to spare everybody else, and I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. Or, oh, is it? Ooh, it's 9 a.m. Is it a.m. in the UK? Because I'm not really sure. But I really appreciate you guys that you stayed and watched me go through the story. The story is such an amazing, like, it's interesting, you know? Having ancient Egypt and the technology was such a good combination. And I applaud DevSys for this. Hello, Handbeacon. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Hello. I appreciate it. And so yeah, uh, I'm sorry that it took this long to finish and I appreciate your guys' time, especially for the European time. I appreciate you guys coming here, especially it's morning too. Go get your breakfast everyone and yeah. So I will end it here and thank you guys so so much for your time. I appreciate it. So yeah, I'll be going now and bye bye! Toodles! Well, let me just go to the end screen. I will ha I will probably uh not be streaming for a couple of days because I have fandom stuff to do and projects. But I will definitely inform in advance if I'm gonna stream again, okay? Still, again guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey and also for listening to my rambles. And I hope to see you guys again sometime soon. Bye bye!